Right. The tail of the Tera. Let's get these. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh. I accidentally pressed back, pressed back off my stream. That would have been not the end of the world. Right. Okay. I accidentally left a DDC in the kitchen a while ago, but then I found it. So it basically just had two DDCs. I like this arm set a lot. I feel like a pot. Let's just make sure that everything is working before I begin. Alright. You're not paralyzed yet. Oh fuck, forgot to use all my scrolls and shit. All right. Let's try again, let's try again. Let's do this again. <clears throat> Never forget the scrolls or the shit. Luther! Hey, how you doing? Jay! How you doing? Just trying to remember how to play this game, even though it's been less than a week since I last played it. I'm good, thanks, Jay. How you doing? Did you manage to get alerts sorted and like um, Streamlabs up and running? Saw Neo 2 yesterday, nice one Luther, how are you liking it? I feel like Neo 2 takes what's really good about Neo 1 and then builds on it a lot. Oh, glad to hear it Jay. That's the wrong one. I mean to use it. But I have now, so. Hey, that guy! How you doing? It feels more forgiving too. Yeah, I completely agree. Like, that's 100% one of the things I noticed when I started this game. You have, like, a lot more choice when it comes to your build which or like the things that you can do in regards to yokai abilities and things so it just it, it lets it lets you try more as well there's more options with each fight so not everything has to be the end oh did mention this the other day but jasper has a mask and a tie with his white foot as well as his boots oh jasper that's so cute hello you're not getting one shot yeah how far did you get on Neo 1? Did you get to Way of the Neo or did you stop after a certain point? Doing a new Pokemon randomizer, nice. Which which uh, which gen? Borderlands 3 and Spider-Man is destroying poles, it is. I'm excited to try Borderlands 3. Hey McSmooth, thank you so much for the host. Six! I really enjoyed watching your Dog Souls 2 today. It's very fun. Pursuer got swift justice. I can't believe you managed to like get him stuck on something. That's incredible. I've never managed to do that. Or parry him. Oh, I've never bothered to parry him, but I've never managed to get him stuck on anything. You're doing the fire rev randomizer. Very nice. Who's on your team? Who's on your team? Wonder when Borderlands 3 will show up here. Uh, what do you mean? Borderlands 3 looks like tons of fun. We've been doing Borderlands 2 and I've been really enjoying it. Just new game, first two regions on New Game Plus. <laughs> Fair enough. 
Yeah, there's a lot of he heavy stuff in Neo 1. <clears throat> like, so many things on Neo 1 will just kill you in one hit. Uh, even on, like, new game, you're like, oh, okay, cool. Can we also do the gank boss fights? Yeah, they're really hard. I mean, when you stream all those, so, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure how soon it'll be, because I think we've got some Doom games to play first, because they were donated. If a game gets donated, we play it first, um, before before the next poll starts. So we got some Doom games sent over and a Metal Gear Solid game, so we've got those to do. Hey, Basara! Zapdos, Mew, Magmortar, and a Lucario. Wow, that's a cool team. That's a cool team. Doom is Doom sounds like a lot of fun. I've actually never uh, played a Doom game properly, so. And I'm really glad that they reduced the one shots too. Put your glasses on. Baker, welcome. Yeah, um, Opchan! I like your little panda remote, Opchan. Very cute. I don't know which of you were here when we played Neo to New, to New Game Plus 5 and did Way of the Demon, but there were some parts of that game where I got very upset. Bought Yuppies of Zero and Ghosts of Tsushima today. Oh, nice! We finished Ghosts of Tsushima on stream a little while ago and it was alright, it was good. And Yakuza 0 we did on stream too. Um, I'm actually working on a YouTube review for it. Uh, I, I'm really excited for that when, it, when, it, when, it, when it's finally ready. Cannot comment on the other. Oh, those are the only two games that we'll have to play on the stream, so you'll be you'll be you'll be a font of knowledge. Hey, you love this guy, Upchen, right? 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 Bassera, thank you for the follow, Bassera. Wrong. You're stuck on the encounters and giving XP. Yeah, I've written a DD and d campaign before and I got so annoyed with XP that I just leveled them up after every stream, uh, after every session. I was like, right, next session you guys are like another level. Um, just pick, pick what you want. Pick what you want between streams. Talk to me, we'll, <laughs> we'll make this work. Like props to um, DMs who let their players uh, level up it, during streams. That must take forever. Oh, thank you, Luther. Yeah. Um, my YouTube channels are linked below the stream. Uh, one of them is just for vods, so make sure you don't accidentally subscribe to that because I'll take you'll just get you'll just get videos every day. Um, but the other one is just for YouTube bits. My prides and joys. The Forging Hammers of Channelock, nice. What's uh... Now this is just um, Dream of the Strong uh, option. Uh, so what's, what's your campaign about? Looks like I'm here now. Uh, welcome, Shekel. There we go. I don't like fighting you. Actually, I do. I'm lying. I like it. Yeah, I I understand he's going to be pretty rough on the uh, Dream of the Dream of the Demon. Thanks, that guy. Go forward. Okay, thank you, sir. Alright, that was a nice warm up. Question mark. At least we can level up now. I, I started to hit a bit of a wall um, last stream. Just all of the quests that we have available to us seem like impenetrable. Um, so I'm hoping that we can actually start getting somewhere. Please say this is just a... Oh, damn. I was hoping that this would just be like another one-on-one. -on -one. We could just get through it really fast, but no. Oh, 
Divinity Original Sin 2. Yeah, I've played that before. I've played that before. It's really good. I played it on PC back when I had one that worked. Um, <laughs> and we got pretty far. It was only two of us, and we had um, we had the tanky sword chick. I think her name was Mad Mad Madara, and we had um, maybe the thief guy, but he wasn't very good. Um, it was good. I enjoyed it. Uh, I understand it's on PS4. I'd play that again if it got added to the poll. I will turn 22 in a few minutes. Luther, happy birthday. Flattered that you're spending it with us. Get anything good? Getting any sweet, sweet presents? Doing anything fun? Socially distanced fun. Hopefully. If you add two, the game changes so much. Yeah, do, do does adding trophies like disable uh, mods or can you still... No, does adding mods disable trophies or does it still work? You're closing. You're close to fighting Evil Within Two. Or well, congratulations, Wolf Blade. Oh God, I always forget about him. It takes place at the base of a rather large mountain that has a river running through it. A dwarf kingdom builds a town at the mouth of the river and uses the waters to turn the cogs of the large forging hammers that cut and mold their gems and stone. Okay, awesome, cool, nice visuals. Oh wait, let's get rid of him. It does disable trophies. Oh damn. I hate when mods disable trophies. Especially if they're any visual mods. We're a trophy hunting channel. We're here for trophies. And clout. I'll watch a movie and I'll get two books. Nice. Do you know which, the, we know which books they are or are they like a looky dip? Fane is my favourite character. Fane. I don't remember the names. I played it back at uni. So like a few years ago now. Um, I only remember Madara. Cookie! How you doing? Which trophies do you have left, Wolfblade? Skeleton Boy. Fane. Hmm. I don't know if I got Fane. I must have. And how are you, Shekel? I asked for the books. Alright, nice. I paralyzed two now. I've run out of stamina. Oh no, he paralyzed me. Capital by Karl Marx, manufacturing consent, consent by Noam Chomsky. Wow, those are some incredible, incredibly meaty tomes you've asked for. Fair enough. Karl Marx was a surprisingly, um, surprisingly moderate. <coughs> a lot of his stuff, like, he has a reputation for being insane, but a lot of his stuff you read it and you're like, eh. You have to beat the game on Classic Maiden, and drink all coffee makers and stomp and kill 15 enemies. Drink all coffee makers. Weird. Why did that- why did you just get auto-modded? Sorry, I, I want to. I'll, I'll get all too much. Thank you. No, the rivers are dry, and a dwarf wizard named Segin claims to have caused the disaster and wants the best challengers of the kingdom. King Amar sends his soldiers to start rivers again, but the soldiers fail again and again. After six months of no progress, the king draws names at random and sends four, tis four citizens. Hey, that's awesome. <laughs> I don't know, Shekel. Maybe the backwards, um, if you put the letters backwards. Trophy name is Caffeine Addict. Oh, well, that should be easy, right? Hopefully. Ah, that sounds really good. Um, I really like that, the whole... Because a lot of the time when you're playing D&D, it's really hard for DMs to, like, manufacture a reason why your random, you know, bout of travellers would be um, all caught up in this situation together. Uh, so it's really good that you've written in a good way to get everybody's um, characters in together. I um, I remember when I did mine, I was literally just like, ah, okay, so here are your characters. Why are you all together? What brought you here? And they were like, um, they, they came up with some pretty good ideas themselves, but 
It's always better when the narrative like gives them a reason. Hey, how's it going? That was pretty cool. Uh, I'm very excited to hear how your how your how your victims enjoy it. The stream recommended is now all porn games. All of them seem shit. Yeah, I mean, the porn games are banned, aren't they? Oh, your Steam recommended, not your stream recommended. Got ya. You should make your own. There's a mod that makes you so that even if you have mods in Divinity 2, then you can still get achievements. Is that mod available on the PS4? Or is that PC only? I got a trophy on Neo, it's 0.9% clear rate, it's nothing special but I'm proud of it. What, which one is it? Only PC. Oh, that's such a shame. Well, I wouldn't I wouldn't mind playing it, um, I wouldn't mind playing it without mods, it's not the end of the world. It's still a really good game. I guess mods are really good for you to like replay a game, they add like replayability, but if I haven't finished the game before, it's not, it's not too much of a problem. Oh! Come here. Basically a dungeon crawl as the dwarves are going further down into the mountain and Sagan is sending challenge after challenge at them. I don't want it to be a grind or take forever, it would be too quick. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I suppose if you like add in puzzles and stuff then you can make like a really diverse range of like challenges in the mountain. Cannon fodder. I'm in a good mood for this game today, you know, I'm in a patient mood. You really need to be, otherwise you get so angry. I just love that there are so many classes in the mods. Yeah, I bet, I bet. You sound like a big fan of the game, so it's probably good to have an opportunity to play it a bit differently. That's the one for firing the cannons. Oh, uh, that's an award for firing a bunch of cannons, fair. Thank you, Shepard. Oh, cannon fodder is 0.9. Ah, oh, I see. Except so why I didn't hear what you said about my comment. Uh, I said it sounds really interesting, and I, th I think that especially like adding in puzzles each time um, would give like a really diverse, interesting challenge for every every session. So it sounds really fun. It sounds really fun. It was not permitted before for some reason. Which one of you? Also, hey, Scoby. Hmm. Well, I'm proud of you too, Luther. How you doing, Scopes? Scopes, I've got a cat question for you, if you uh, if you don't mind. Shoot, okay, um, so since Spaying Blue and Seth, they have had crazy appetites. They've gone absolutely crazy for food. I find them like digging in the bin, I find them, I found them like ripping open their um, dry food the other day, like they steal food from me that they've never been interested in before. Every time they hang out with me, they're just meowing at me all night for food. Um, I don't really know why they're suddenly really hungry, um, I don't know what to do. But it got to the point today where um, Blue dug through the bin to get an old bit of KFC chicken thigh out of the bin and started hissing at Seth, I uh, wouldn't let Seth near her, uh, and I had to come and take the chicken thigh off her and she was very upset. I don't really know um, if this is normal, what I'm supposed to do about it. It's not so much it's not so much the fact that there's it's not so much the hiding of the food that's the problem because I am now hiding food. I've put a bag over the bin and stuff. It's just the fact that they've become extremely hungry and I don't know why they're so hungry and I don't know 
whether to give them more food in the meantime, if it's like a side effect of the operation. They are hungry all, all the time. Like, Blue only meows at me um, for food. It's, it's really annoying and it's kind of like, it's kind of upsetting. I'm like, am I just a fridge to you? Like, if I go into the kitchen, Blue will be like, cry meowing as though, as though I haven't fed her in years. They will be hangry all the time, like, what am I supposed to do about that? What am I supposed to do about that, Shekel? Worms? I, I don't know, because they went to the vet for a checkup, and the, the vet didn't say anything, and that was last week. Um, but I can check? I can, I can check? I know that all you have to do is take a little bit of a look at their, um, refuse. Hey, Mac, how you doing? It's been a while. Well, it's not been that long, but it's been a bit. Yeah. When I bought Dark Souls last October, I never thought I'd get good at video games. Never really played much as a kid. Same, Luther. Dark Souls was like one of the first like proper games that I played. Um, before that, I was all like Spyro and Skyrim and um, Okami, and you know, like games that were just really easy to pick up and get into. And but also like, I would I would get really into them. Is that a posh word for shit? Yes, it is. I was trying to be a demure, um, mature. Uh, lady. I've never had a cat spade as a thing, so I can't compare before I have to- Oh, I see. Oh. Trying to get through Dark Souls 2! Nice! How are you liking it? Got any favourite bosses yet? Mm. I might ask the vet. Coffefe. Delicious coffefe. Maybe they calm down after the bit. Yeah, I guess I'll give it like a month. They are so annoying though. Like I used to let Blue, um, oops. I used to let Blue in my room at night and she would like sleep, sleep next to my bed. But now she's too annoying. Jasper likes to pretend that I starve him by meowing incessantly when I go to feed him his wet food. He has this dry food sitting all day long that he never eats. That's kind of adorbs, Jasper. Yeah, like when I when when I get their wet food out, they are like, I can't even emphasize how bad they get. They they are like, ah, ah, please. That's it. That's them. I finished it before, but about five years ago, so I've been relearning the game and I'm stuck. Yeah, but who are your favourite bosses? Sounds exactly like Nina was. Wow, that's really weird. Um, that's not what they were like at all before. It's a shame. They're really annoying now. Yeah, you take care, Luther. Enjoy your study. And hey, Yami. What's up? Did you finish your? What were you? What were you doing on uh, Final Fantasy XIV the other day? You were like grinding, crafting stuff. Hey, yeah. I do not play Monster Hunter World. Smelter Demon is your fave. Nice. Did you like the blue Smelter Demon? Oh, I know. The other day I was like, oh, what what theme does does the Smelter Demon? Share well. Who who does the smelter demon share a theme with? Oh, I can't remember. I just, I remember the other day. It's Ruin Sentinels. That's who I'm stuck on. Hey, I never beat the smelter demon by myself, but mainly because um, the gauntlet before the smelter demon is so difficult solo that I just never got to the point where I got to the smelter demon solo. So I I can proudly say that I've never done it. And when I say proudly, I mean very unproudly. Just like sitting on me to groom himself and only does so when I go to sleep and in my bed. That's cute But he sits between me and my monitor at the worst possible place in time. Aww. Blue and stuff like to like interfere with um, wires and things at the worst time. So like uh, I'll I'll be I'll be playing on the PS3 and they'll just walk behind the sofa walk behind the TV and just yank the wires out and I'll be like, oh great, cool. I like I put the wires back in and I've died, you know. Great, thanks. I just keep killing them, they don't respawn after 15 times. Oh yeah. That's a long-winded option. 
You don't need to see a hot bars, no. But you know what's knows what's best for you. I've gone the wrong way. managed to put just my food buff time today, which is the only thing I need to see for crafting. Good on, good on you, buddy. Ah, oh, here we go. Oh god. Did you test it somewhere, Shekel? Now that I'm thinking about it. Oh yeah! I don't know, That's, that is really weird. Jasper likes catnip and I rubbed some on his new scratching post so he would use it, but I think he's, there's still someone there because every time he uses it he becomes like he's high or something. Oh yeah, maybe it like gets stuck in his nails and stuff and he like chews it out and then he's just absolutely stoned. It's so funny that catnip exists. I, I'm a big fan of catnip. I don't have any. I've never tried it, but it's on the list, you know? I found the run to Blue Swelter so the enemy stops spawning. Ah, that seems to be a common thing. Why do you say there's an exclamation mark to this? What? Why have you given me these exclamation marks? Ah. Yep, dream of the strong, all done. Meow. Meow. Oh, this is um, that horrible woman. Do I want to fight the horrible woman? I'll do that later. Ah, oh, I haven't really had that many problems making my cats use scratching posts and stuff, but it's something I should try, and also it seems like it would be fun, you know? Let them have a nice time. I won't do the tiger approaches, that's 301. 332, 301. Shadow's duty, I don't know if I want to do that. Learning a lesson, I'll try that. Munchies. <laughs> yes, exactly. Make them make them really annoying because they just talk about political theory for a while. I didn't eat enough, uh, but I only have monkey nuts, so nut. Delicious nut. That poor monkey, oh god. Nut. Not even nut, just nut. You have a plate of chicken fries? What's chicken fries? Doing! Oh god.
Don't be nutty. I shall try. Fried chicken in the shape of french fries, or chips as you would call them. Thank you. Thanks for translating. I like that. Chip shaped breaded chicken. Mm. Jasper won't eat human food, but he likes sniffing it. Yeah, Blue and Surf don't really eat human food, but then there's like some really random exceptions. Like if I have a croissant, I have to be careful. Or like a bagel, Blue will go for that. Smaller and thinner. Hmm. Tiny chicken strips. Small chicken. Scoby, don't pigeonhole this food. You're not an expert on chicken fries. <laughs> You're not an expert on chicken fries. Just listen and learn. Burger King does chicken fries. Nice. Oh, chicken and beef is good. I I got a bit of paralysis. I am all about paralysis. <laughs> Be polite! He is an expert on chicken th chicken fries. Chicken thighs. Sumptuous chicken thighs. Ow! Don't worry, Mac. I got you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> Mom! Scoby says chicken fries aren't real. Don't worry, Mac. They are real. If you believe they are in your heart, we have chicken fries at home. Chicken fries at home. Chicken goujons. Oh. I was worried about getting Neo because the main character looks white, and I'm sick and tired of the white savior character. Yeah, the th the thing is, the th well, the thing is, he was based on a real person. But I very much doubt a real person swept across Japan in a flurry of um, white savioring. Uh, so yeah, the thing is, you can um, you can get skins for that character, and if you want, you can play as a different character. So you can play as like Hattori Hanzo and stuff. You can play as um, a woman called a Katsu. You can play as some woman, some guy's wife uh, who's got this really cool sword. Um, so yeah. But you don't have to, and it's a good game. Um, you can put a helmet on him and just pretend that it's you. That's what I did. Some guy's wife. Oh, it's Tachibana's wife. Ginchio, Ginchio Tachibana, maybe. <laughs> it's just some guy's wife. Yeah, I, I think um, I, I completely understand. Like, I wouldn't say no to a game that that just had like the classic white dude um especially if i heard that it was really good but i do get a bit mm, when i see them i'm like can i not just be can i not just be a lady please but you you can be um you can be a bunch of different characters some bint yeah you can be some bint sure thing that guy you have a really good evening thanks for coming by The only annoying thing was that the skins are really expensive for um for the girl ones. I guess they were like, "Ha, you pervs! You can't play as a woman." And I was like, "But I was going. Well, I'm not a perv." Uh, so I think they added them to the DLC as like a bit of a joke. Like, if you want to play as a lady, you have to work for it. But I'm like, "But I am a lady. I want it. I'm going to play as a lady." Story takes place in Japan, I don't really understand why the main character is in Japanese. Yeah, it is kind of a random one because, like, 
he is based on a real character, but it is kind of random for them to pick him out of anybody else to be the main character of Neo. Um, considering the fact that a Neo isn't necessarily anybody of any particular, um, you know, like when you think about it, he doesn't need to be William. Like his character doesn't need to be William. Maybe they picked him for like marketing purposes because they were worried the game wouldn't be very popular if um, they made the main character Japanese. Because I'm pretty sure Team Ninja is um, Japanese. Ah, oh, good point, shit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the devs are Japanese, right? William Adams, not William Evans. Ah, that's like the uh, that is like the whitest name in the world, William William Adams. Hey, Plunder. Yeah, like he does have an interesting story and he is real, but there is definitely a bit of like white saviorness, Jay. I, I do, I do see your irritation, and considering there's quite a lot of that, mainly in films like The Great Wall and stuff, uh, I can see why you'd have a bit of fatigue. I don't know why they chose to make it William Adams. His story is interesting, but I mean, I don't know why they specifically chose to do that. Yeah, it is. It is weird that they made Della De alive as well. Focus on the bike shop saw me ties that are too small and now I have to take the bus to my first work day tomorrow. Well at least you won't be sweaty, maybe. Yeah, maybe he was exotic for them. It is really interesting. I would like to know why they picked that particular historical figure. Bums. But yeah. Jeb! Yeah, I'm, I'm really, I'm really happy that you, you you got yourself a nice job. You mentioned it was a temporary, it was like a, it was like a six month thing or like a few weeks. Six week job initially, nice. And which one is this? Is this the um, job that asks for an electrician? Oh no, is this the job that asks for a? Um, a IT support when they when you kept telling them that you didn't had never done IT support. Oh, good, nice. Is the one I actually got to interview with the recruiter. I think I remember. You've had a such a random flurry of like job things coming back to you lately. It's been really good. I guess it's a sign of an improving market. I don't think your experience is really relevant. And you're like, I told you! <laughs> Just slap a chicken breast in the microwave, Shekel. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, if I ever do that, I want... I want you to take me. I want you. To, I want you to take me by the shoulders, look me in the eye, and tell me that there's something wrong. I've got a promising long-term job interview next Friday that's support and maintenance. Nice, 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 nice. Sounds good. Wiring industrial heating cabinets. Is that is that complex enough for your tastes, or is that a bit too like? Not what you're looking for. It's a tad simple, but wiring is quite his end job. Oh, nice, All right. This this good and bad, I suppose. Yeah, fair enough. This at least it's something. That you kind of like that'll keep you occupied for a bit. I would love a job right now. What kind of job would you would you have if you could pick any mech? Three thousand euros. Yeah, that does sound good to me.
Maybe we should just spec into an EI blade. That's what I currently get in three months. Well, yeah. <laughs> just, a, just a smidgen better. Have you played Jade Empire? It's a really fun game. I enjoy it very much. I have never heard of that. Pawn actor cakes. Oh, okay. Right, that's weird. I don't know. Fair enough, Mac. Fair enough. Old Bioware game. Okay. Tell me more. Tell me more. It's pretty good. Okay, that's that's pretty uh that's pretty high praise from Scopes. Oh god, get out of the way. I must leave now. Aww. I'm in a lot of trouble now. Oh god. Please! It's from 2005 though. Okay. Oh no! I thought this was the tunnel and it wasn't. I'm in a lot of trouble right now. It's six or seven if you're the limited edition version. Right, right, right. Nice, nice. This isn't going too badly. I'm lost now. Oh, there we go. Fuck off! Oh! I actually just shook my fist. Whack. K O. Monkey nut. Why did I get to keep my bird? Mm -hmm. Spirits are becoming restless because the water guardian doesn't have enough strength to send them to the afterlife. Okay, okay. If I just had a chance to put my feet on the floor so that I could change <coughs> into um my brute form I'd have done this village is destroyed and you go on this epic journey to find your master who was kidnapped, save the water guardian and restore balance to the jade empire. Oh, I see. Hmm. What do Bioware usually make? Don't they usually make Mass Effect? Or didn't they usually make Mass Effect? To order in KFC again. Nice. You know what you want, Shekel, I respect that. Bioware made Mass Effect. Ah, oh, so weird that they... I feel like Bio Bioware frequently surprise me with the games that they secretly make. That's my Dragon Age, yeah! I always expect that to be somebody else, you know? At 
absolute shit. <laughs> mm-hmm. <clears throat> You're kidding me. Are you just not sat? There we go. Vile man. You need some decent movies to watch. Hmm. I'm probably the worst person in the world to ask. My favourite film is Interstellar, which is pretty vanilla. Oh, I like uh, Silence of the Lambs, which is again quite vanilla. It's interesting because it has an intricate good versus evil choices many games like to say that your choices matter, but it all amounts to this game doesn't do that. That's weird considering they then followed that with Mass Effect. Interstellar is good. It did have a lot of important choices, yeah. But did they matter in the end? Yeah. Agenda reveal party. <laughs> the green one. You like the ending. How, what, uh, why, Mac? What, what did you enjoy about it? As the open palm and close fist path, good evil, and the choices really have an effect on NPCs in the gameplay because the ending has three different endings. Okay, good evil and stupid. Hi, Yami. Congrats. How long? How many hours have you been spending on this crafting? Too many. I see. I shan't. I shan't pry. Hey, Mari, how you doing? Giving yourself up to the villain. Oof, and how does that go? Yeah, Mac. That's fair enough. I didn't play the game, but it, it was pretty infamous when it happened. And my friend was super obsessed, and she was very annoyed. Um, I was actually editing a oh god, oh god. I was actually editing a um a video game um uh, like section of a magazine at that point. And uh, my friend was so angry that she asked me if she could write a review in it. And I was like, yeah. I had a lot of fun putting that together. But then she wrote an article about how excited she was for Andromeda. So, I don't know how that went. Something that hasn't really been explored before. Yeah, fair enough. So quiet, Baker. You, you're all right. Are you sad? Are you happy? Are you busy? Are you getting plats? Interesting take, Shook. Interesting. Who's Bioware and buys it EA? Because if it's EA, they do really have a um, a habit of like buying studios, gutting them, and then killing them. Hell yeah, it's EA. Great, they're gonna go the Maxis direction. And then, uh, and then, uh, Mass Effect will become like a uh, a Sims a Sims reboot. After taking the power of Spirit Guardian, okay. 
I'm 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 basically following along. Dragon Age 4 is in production. Ah, oh, you never know. EA have destroyed so many um so many promising companies. They like buy a company, force them to change everything about the games they make for the sake of like pleasing focus groups. The game doesn't perform very well because it's not very good and then they sell the company every time. Dead Space 3 was a really good example of that. Ah yeah! Pachinko machine. What do you mean you didn't love what they did with the Silent Hill franchise? To be fair, the Silent Hill franchise needed to die. It was like the Silent Hill games, like Homecoming is really good. I really like Homecoming. But it shouldn't have been called Silent Hill. It wasn't a Silent Hill game, you know? It, it, I, that, that, I think that game would have fared a lot better and be, been a lot more popular if if they hadn't just tried to slap the Silent Hill label on it. So I don't mind that the Silent Hill franchise died, but I do mind that it became Pachinko Machines. Live service elements! Ooh, I love a live service element. EA yeah, yeah, didn't really mess m mess with Anthem's development. Bioware's management itself is just stupid. Fair. I don't know what went wrong with the development. So much went wrong. Tell me more. Give me the give me the gossip. Dish dish. Ah. The oh, thanks, Jay. Oh, thanks, Jay. A sweet hug. I don't know if we'd ever get a chance to play something like that on stream unless it was added to the poll and voted for, but um, if I ever see it... Because I was in kicks today with my mate. They were like, oh, I, 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 I really want to try a Dark Souls game. Um, which one would you recommend? And I was like, well, you enjoyed Bloodborne, didn't you? And you didn't enjoy Sekiro, so... I'm going to assume that you might like Dark Souls 3, so let's go and find you a copy of Dark Souls 3. I don't like Dark Souls 3, but I was like, you know what? I can I can, I can, can understand, I can concede that it has merit. I'm sure you'd enjoy it. And they were like, okay, cool. Uh, and then they, they didn't have any copies of it, and I was like, great. And they were like, well, I mean, I could always get Skyrim. I was like, yeah, you could always get Skyrim, but will it ever be the same? Will I ever be happy again? Hey, Dreads. They made an MMO similar to Destiny, but refused to look at the good things that other games did well and bad that devs... So to hope people would like, then didn't have any time to finish anything because everything took forever. You gotta do your competitor research. Precious dreads, how you doing? How goes the Neo? Not bad, thanks. We're actually making a bit of um a bit of progress. I hit I hit a huge wall last time and I was getting really annoyed with it. Uh, but I I've, I'm doing a couple of things now. Sam woke me up. Sam. Get over here. How how is Sam though? And how's your crazy neighbour? Mmm, Scoby. Mmm. Um. So. So, um, Smooth was fighting the Pursuer, and the Pursuer got stuck on something right in the shooting range of the Ballista. So McSmooth killed him with the Ballista. Which one? Um, and also I'm glad that Sam's a chunky ginger demon. Uh, which one? The one that, like, wasn't it like the really nosy one? That like shouts at you. Or are those two different ones? That was pretty nice. I was like, you jammy git. Lingering snow and crimson tracks, that could be a good one. Oh, 289, let's do a way out. Mm. <clears throat> true, Blender, true, true. This is a logic that I have not considered. 
Hasn't really said anything to us since her husband died since she was the target of the harassment. Yeah, I just can't believe he was like that. I'm glad he hasn't just doubled down though. I do the dickhead, yeah. What a wankerino. Come here. Good on you, Dreads. Oh, you can do a grapple on an enemy that you've paralyzed. Okay. Well, besides that, how's life? How's The Sims? I saw you playing that the other day. Yeah, like, why weren't you nice during? You really missed it, yeah. Have you got- <laughs> have you still got your, like, um, Twitch viewer house? Yeah, exactly, Blunder, exactly. He sounded like a Venus. Oh, you forgot! Oh, dreads. I think I remember you doing, like, the rally call for that. To be fair, you've had a pretty busy year. <laughs> Fuck this year. Fuck this year. Nice. I like paralysis. This could go well. Not on bosses, but it could go well. Oh, there he is. There's our man. Yeah. Almost through. Yeah, surely, surely the badness will arbitrarily end as soon as the year ends. Let's help you with the encounters for your campaign. For your uh, which 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 one? Give Sephi a treat. Ah, oh, thank you. Maybe she'll be quiet now. Sure. Give me give me a minute, uh, and I will get this get this done. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Ooh, goodness. Thank you, Mac. Ow! The statue of Jason. Oh god. All the treats for the kitties. They've been hungry, hungry, hu hungry, hungry hippos. Dreads is cashing out on the stocks. Right, there we go. Let me go get him. Let me go get him. Blue. 
Would you like a treat? This one's from Dreadsley. Ah, oh, is it good? You didn't even choose it. Oh. There she is. Princess. Right, off we go. Baby chef, uh, would you like a treat? That's from that's from Dreads. See, I couldn't find her. She was running away. You eat all that up, miss. Ooh. Oh, and here she is. Sophie, let's go. Bye bye. Right. Oh. I'm back. Sophie hides because she always thinks she's in trouble, and she's never in trouble. It's always blue. So small. Yeah, we should let Blue and Seth play um play near. I wanna see how they do. Blue's Blue's a little treat fiend now. I have to I have to properly put the treats away. Yesterday when we were doing the community night, I heard an, a noise here and she tipped her treats over and she was like gnawing at the lid. And I was like, Blue, stop! Like ran over. Put it in here and she spent the rest of the evening trying to open this. KFC is en route. Nice. What'd you order? More rice boxes. Scroll of the demon. I don't need you anymore, fella. But I'm sure I will continue to receive you for a long time. <clears throat> Two mega boxes. What's a mega box? Does it have lots of rice? Jesper likes to sleep in a box now that he's discovered he can sleep in a box. Did he not think such a thing was possible? He was like, I've heard Schrodinger's work. I'm not interested in getting involved. One tendy with honey mussy. That made me laugh so fucking hard when you said <laughs> honey mussy. What is honey mussy? <laughs> I know it's honey mustard, but also what is honey mussy? Two wings and fries. Yum. I feel like my cat's so hard not to so hard not to eat. When food is so delicious and readily available. R slash tendies. What on earth is R slash tendies? I've been hiding this glorious subreddit from me. Supposed to be like a knockdown bit with a ladder. 
just like just neck beard things but kind of shit comments are the best part of it how so oh hello can't believe you guys have known blue and seth since they were like two months old that's so weird isn't it must have at least 100 gbp no normies allowed this explains nothing i don't I think he previous owners were super abusive and punished him for everything because he's very skittish and doesn't try new things. He takes a while to greet new people and do new things. Oh, then it's like double sweet that he grooms himself on you when you're when you're trying to sleep. Like he trusts you, but he's got his boundaries. He's so precious. People are in character. Oh, nice. So it's like um, gaming circle jerk then. I got you now. Now I understand. I need to learn skills. I don't know which skills are good for the Odachi. Oh. We should just use the sword. Why am I even pretending to use anything but the katana? Why am I doing anything but the EI flowing shadow? I feel like such a poser. A liar. Odachi. Monkey nut. All the way back here. Just run. Oh. oh, he likes to look out of windows. Cute. Is he an indoor cat or is he an outdoor cat? Because Blue and Seth are both indoor cats, so they they like to look outside, but they're not allowed to go outside. Wow, that was good. That was a good use of my living weapon thing. Oh, I just got a leash for Blue and Seth. Um, originally I only had one leash, uh, because I assumed that Blue would have no interest in going outside, but she was like, why are you all going outside without me? So I guess she wasn't interested in going outside, but she was interested in being left by herself. So I had to get leashes for both of them. And now we just got to sit in the garden. With my two cats on leashes, like some kind of nutter. Mm. Yeah, Twinkle doesn't exactly strike me as the cold, heartless predator that I know cats to be. Neither are Blue and Seth. Like, 
They like, can't even kill flies. Like they just faff around with them for hours. And then like when they cat when the when the fly is dead they just don't even eat it. It's like yeah, bored. Mummy, can I have a treat please? Try to get him to leave my dorm room, but he runs back inside when a new person comes out into the hallway. Oh cool, so you have a, a cat living in a dorm with you? That's kind of awesome. My my old dorm uh, didn't allow pets. Not that I'd ever have wanted to keep one, because our dorms are really small as well. She is really precious to be honest. I'm too adventurous. Twinkle, Twinkle thinks she's such a bad man. What are you doing? Let's get rid of this Gaki first and foremost. I think that's it though. Sometimes that's a red move, sometimes that isn't. When will it be? When will it not be? Well, let's learn. Just figure it out for some reason. I want KFC. Normally two pieces of chicken are more than enough for me, so that's just what I ordered for dinner. Uh, but then I realised I hadn't had enough calories throughout the day. I'd had less than a thousand throughout the whole day. And I was like, that's not brilliant. So I'm just snacking on monkey nuts whilst wishing that I could have some of Shekels KFC. He's technically an emotional support animal due to your depression and anxiety. Oh, that's pretty sweet that Jasper can come along. KFC is mine. That's fine, that's fair. I'm sad though. <laughs> I remember discovering these for the first time being like, oh, oh good. A huge bag of salted peanuts. Salted peanuts are incredible. All the salt in them makes you really thirsty. Then you threw up a lot in quite well. Yeah, I imagine with so much salt in your body. By the way, you guys are excited to start Skyrim tomorrow? Because I am! Good. I just love that I have two swords, a cannon, and a rifle, and loads of pottery shit. Hey Luther, welcome back. How's the studying? Am I in college? No. I graduated college slash university um, a couple of years ago.
What are you gonna school for? What? No, um, no, I, I finished school. I, I graduated a few years ago. Um, but I went, but when I went to school, I did a bachelor's in history and then a master's degree in computer science. Now, now I just work, and it's great. I love full-time work. Woo! Hit me up when you're 70. Wasn't able to study as much as I wanted to. Came to the stream to feel a bit better. Oh, what, what kind of stuff are you studying then, uh, Luther? Have you got like exams coming up? What about you, Jay? Like, what do you study? Being excited for schooling starting tomorrow. No, no. Uh, no, Skyrim. Skyrim starting tomorrow. Skyrim. Ah. Ah, now I understand. I'm so excited for school. Woohoo! No. What's the difference? Yeah. Both are lessons. Both are lessons. You're finally awake. Get dressed. Ah! I miss summer vacation. At uni, you get a month off for Christmas and three months off over summer. And every 10 or so weeks, 10, 12 weeks, you get two weeks off for like reading week slash holidays. So I would just like, just I just had such a good time. Like I worked um, sometimes two jobs at a time, but I really like that. I really miss that. I was very surprised and a bit confused when I found out surprisingly late as well that when you work a job you don't get like holidays I was like what do you mean we don't get like a week off at Easter <laughs> you have your college, college exams coming up but this studying is for these exams to become a diplomat in your country holy cow Luther that's cool what made you want to become a diplomat Oh god, I'm in trouble. What's happening? Oh! Snack. I was gonna say. I was gonna say, plan. I was gonna say. Job security and working conditions, nice. All of those things are good. Government administration, okay, cool. Did your dad suggest um, diplomat to you then? Whereabouts did you hear about it? <laughs> Diplomancer! That's cool.
The magic of friendship. Between countries. For the sake of improving trade agreements. Oh goodness. Rest in peace. My class was started two weeks ago. Okay. What are you uh, what are you studying then? Just all the things. I enjoy having some money. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I was never like really struggling at uni. I didn't get any support from my parents, but I had my illustration work and I had, I worked at a shop, well, the bakery, as you know, I mention it sometimes. When I say sometimes, I mean like four times a stream. Um, Oh god. Um, but you also get like loans and things. So I remember um, my loan very neatly covered my rent and bills. So as long as I, as long as I earned enough money to look after myself, I could. I was good. English with creating writing emphasis and a double minor in history and theatre. I I thought I thought when you were telling me about your um, D and D campaign that it sounded really like well constructed. I, I like that. Higher education needs self-study and lower education feels a mockery of my intelligence. Yeah, I mean you're a, you're a, you're a very clever very clever little bean there, Plunder. I, I wouldn't say you needed to return to anything. Ow. Imagine that Scoby just spent a day eating salt and peanuts. Like, can you imagine how dehydrated you'd be? No wonder you were sick, Scobes. Yeah, I think I think it's better if you can, especially if um, if you were looking for like uh, what's the word? Official qualifications as well. It's really good to get those through work. Hey, Glenn, how you doing? Oh, welcome back. This guy's Skelly Bob Quick Draw. Fox Lady, that's me. I would love to be Fox Lady. Specifically, the one from Neo. Like writing and I want to become a full-time writer one day. My senior project is I'm going to write a play in the fall semester and direct it in the spring semester. That's amazing. Do you know what your play is going to be about yet or is that too too far in the future? Funny realisation hits you that interviewers will get your papers out of necessity then actually care about experience. It is really annoying because like you do get told over and over and over and over and over again go to university, get a degree, otherwise you'll never get a job. And then like you get a degree and they're like why'd you get a degree you numb school? Now you've got loads of debt. No, you should have got a degree. You should have been hitting the streets, getting job experience, learning a trade, and I'm like, well, if... like, I know that recruiters try and make you feel better when they're like, I don't look at grades, I don't care about work experience, I just want to know what kind of person you are, whether you've got the hustle, and I'm like, well, I had the hustle, otherwise I wouldn't have gone to university, why didn't you ask me then? Thanks, Glenn. That really, really, uh, you really boost my self-esteem, thank you. I got some pretty interesting stuff on my CV from work courses and stuff before depression hit. That's cool. That's cool. I haven't really been on that many courses with work. They're usually miserable, so I went for an apprenticeship. 
Yeah, the Eevee thing probably helped though. Yeah, I guess. Like the thing is also, when I was being presented with apprenticeships, I was like, I don't want to become. Uh, oh fuck's sake! I was like, oh, I don't want to become. Um, because the apprenticeships that we were offered were things like really manual stuff. I was like, I don't want to be a plumber. I don't really want to be. I don't really want to. I don't really want to work in building or construction. I don't want to. You know, there was never like an apprenticeship in like web design. There was never an apprenticeship in, um, you know, web development UX. So I, I was like, this doesn't appeal to me. You know, I, and I don't want to. I don't want to just go into a normal job. I want. I, I know what I want to do. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna try and do it. Um, if if there had been an apprenticeship for like web stuff, I I would have like flown at it probably. Um, but the thing is, at my school, they were like, um, at my school, they they did like this huge presentation on uh, your options when you finish A levels, and it was like option one, and we recommend all of you do this university, university, go on and get a degree, blah blah blah. You completely need to do that. All of you who are on pathway A. We're gonna try and get you into university, and I was on pathway A, and they were like pathway B. Um, it was something else. It was like, oh, I think pathway B was apprenticeships, and they were like, blah blah blah, apprenticeship. Consider studying. Oh, you'll be on minimum wage. You'll be on lower than minimum wage, but you're working full time. Oh, it's gonna be shit. Nobody wants to do that. You want to go to university, and I was like, okay, I'll get it. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to earn less than minimum wage for a really grueling few years of work. I want to go to university, and then they're like, "Pathway C, you could just, you could just get a job." Pathway A, B, everybody, Pathway A, and I don't know. My school really pushed people to go to university. A lot of the people from my school who went to university um, dropped out within like the first year because it just wasn't for them. I guess maybe it looked better um, on my school if lots of people were accepted into university. I know that. There's a lot of stats regarding that with uni and stuff, so I was like, they probably pushed us into it a bit too much for the sake of improving the way the school looks. And like, why wouldn't they want to make the school look better, you know? Um, but I, I, the thing, the thing that was at my school was that they only really um, presented university as a viable option. Everything else was like Plan B or like worst, you know, worst. Um, Worst case scenario. Worst case scenario, you do an apprenticeship. I'm like, well, now I'm like, what do you mean worst case scenario? Back then I was like, oh my god, I don't want to do an apprenticeship. No, but I don't know. They really pushed us. Like really pushed us. Getting a degree can certainly help, but it's a combination of degree and experience. It is a shame though. I feel like when you leave when you leave uh, uni and they're like, you need a degree and three years of experience for this graduate role. I'm like, if if it's a graduate role, it should be you need a degree. You know, that's what a graduate role is. I don't really mind if it's like an entry level position to a company. It's not a graduate role, but it, it, a degree should be equivalent to some experience. I think I rather than a degree and experience. It's really annoying that like a degree is basically worthless if you don't have experience. A young man Mason dealing with the fact that his brother Troy is his son. It's but celebrating and accepting death. All right, okay. My CV is pretty empty. It's sad. What's the hug stream reward? Just, just give me a hug. I didn't get this job when I did, I probably would put Twitch on my CV too to show off communication and organisation abilities. That's, yeah. Oh, that's really sweet. I would be your reference if you wanted. Pretty sure there's some for software engineering too. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, it just was never presented to us as a viable option. Like, there may well have been loads of them. Um, but they were just like, don't do an apprenticeship, go to uni. And I'm glad I went to uni. I wouldn't have changed the fact that I went to uni, but I wish they hadn't forced us so much. Same day I got rejected from an engineering apprenticeship. I was about to say that. I wanted that UCAS cred, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, um, what you guys are saying is like completely valid. Um, what you guys are saying is completely valid, completely understandable, completely logical. Um, my school didn't really do that. They wanted us to be at university, and like I said, I don't mind that I went to university, but they. They they really really were reluctant to have people leave school to just go into full time work or go into an apprenticeship. But I know I hated school very little. Yeah, see, I I liked school. Um, I I think I was good at school. I got good grades and stuff, and I liked having something to keep me busy. Um, so for for me, school wasn't 
too bad. I, I enjoyed it. So the idea of doing more school except you get to get drunk and you get given money for it and oh when you come out you can get any job you want you know um, I was like oh well that sounds great um, but I, I guess I guess if you hated school you would probably be checking up you checking your options like from from minute one yeah I guess it depends on your uh yeah, I guess I guess it depends on your relationship with school whether you would want to do more school. Jim Jam, hey! I always said school got bullied quite a bit. I got bullied a lot at school as well, like a lot at school. Um, but that didn't mean that I didn't enjoy like hitting. I I just I was like it was like the trophy hunter, you know. I liked I liked hitting um, targets and aiming for things and having goals. Jasper's back in his box, so oh. Evening Evangeline, how you doing? Who dares to saw you? Oh my god, I got bullied so bad at school for like every conceivable reason. If I sat down and tried to explain all the reasons I got bullied on stream, we would we would well surpass the eight hour uh, the six hours that I normally stream. We we would be here for a long time. But I don't know. I don't think about it too much anymore. I have quite I have quite an okay memory of school as long as I don't think of like the people. We have graduates come into our company and put all the letters after their names on their emails. No No, that's so cringe. And proceed to ask us as managers the most seemingly naive and sometimes ridiculous questions dressed up in business speak. Oh my god, Opchan. But please don't tell me they put BA after their name. Opcham, please. Please tell me they don't do that. Because that's cringe. I know somebody who did it as a joke. Um, she was all about like sarcasm and like irony and stuff, and she put BA in her uh, in her Facebook name. Um, but I mean, I've never known anybody to do that like legit and like actually do that. Oh, Opcham, no. That is painful. That hurts me. Oh, Chen, why did you do them to me? Why did you do this to me? Give someone a bad name. Yeah. I... Do you ever do you ever tell them? Do you ever tell them that that's more of a hindrance to their job efforts than an aid? Like, do you ever? We send them packing. Really? I was bullied a lot and that's part of the reason why I have depression and anxiety. Well, at least you got your little emotional support kit. It really sucks growing up being bullied. Like, when you're an adult and you're no longer in the situation of being bullied, it can be really difficult to move on from it because you s still spend a lot of time, like, fixating on why. You know, why me? Why? What was so wrong? Especially when you go to uni and a lot of the things that got you bullied at school are, like, celebrated at uni. Like, when I was at school, one of the things I got bullied really badly for was liking video games um, because it was gross and it meant that I was a lesbian <laughs> you know and that back when I was at school it was suicide to even be perceived as LGBT um, so it was like one big thing but then you go to uni and I tried really hard not to tell people that I played games and then somebody came into the room and was like hey is that is that an Xbox and I was like um, yes and they were like oh sweet what games you got and I was like well, you're not gonna bully me. And they were like, no, no, no. Why are you fighting? I was like, oh, okay. You know, it's really weird. Um, so like, you grow up with all these like really weird insecurities about the stuff that you like. You like, you like deliberate before you introduce something to somebody. You're like, do I tell somebody about this part of me? Like, do I tell them that I enjoy this, or are they just gonna like turn around and make my life a misery? Do I confide the secret? Do I tell somebody this insecurity? Do I? Uh, and you, you have all this like trepidation, you get really anxious about new people. If somebody new joins my friendship group, I get really anxious about that as well. Um, like, because a lot of the time I, w I, I would have somebody new join the friendship group and then um, they would like need to push somebody out to make room for this new person. And I had a few instances where that is, but that person was me. Woo! Um, so like whenever somebody new joins my friendship group, I get really anxious about it. I get really like... 
cold. I'm, I'm not interested in them. I look for problems with them that aren't there because I'm, I just, I'm just like, mm. you know, I, I, yeah, I, I get really worried about it. And it's something, it's something that you just have to sort of like move on from. You know, you can't, you can't blame everybody around you for what happened to you. I'm talking to me, by the way. I'm not, I'm not trying to preach to anybody in chat. Um, but I know what you mean, like. Growing up after being bullied, it sticks with you for a really long time, um, and I completely understand why people go on to <clears throat> still be really sad and anxious about it because, you know, you're you're like, when you're at school, you're being taught how society works. You're like meeting other people. You're being taught how like relationships and social interaction works, and if that's the way that you're taught it works, then you you grow up to be like really scared of it. Gonna change my Discord username to under Scoby BSC. Thank you, Scoby. I rang one the other day rather than answer on his email circular and politely asked him if he even knew what he was asking. So what did he ask, Opchan? The school sucked. Everyone played games at my school. Yeah, it was it was like it was like social. You if if you if you if you played games at my school um, and you weren't like because I I was one of the only people who moved up into my school from my feeder school like my school was fed into by an identically named primary school and everybody went up into that and I was supposed to go up into a different school but it was really far away I would have had to get up really early whereas this school was like just around the corner and it was a really good school so I went into that school with like three other people um, and we weren't in the same classes or anything so it was immediately like a situation of there's all these established friendships that have known each other for years there's like decade there's like a decade of friendship here already <clears throat> And you want to like go into that, so it just gets to the point where you become like a scapegoat. You become like the other. You become like something that people blame things on. So it wasn't. I don't, I don't think it was a case of like video games necessarily being um, the outcast thing. I think it was just more the fact that they would look for like any reason to make to to see you as other. I guess it, it's, it's kind of hard to describe. I used to be bullied a lot, but surprisingly I was never accused of being gay. That's... that's... Well, the thing is, I was going to say that's relief, but I don't know whether people at your school really cared. I, I mean, I, I remember when I was at school, a footballer came out as gay. Um, and then took his own life because of the backlash. Uh, so when I was at school, it was like still a really bad thing to, 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 be, to be gay. And there was all these like homophobic slurs and like horrible horrible slurs going around about people who 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 were gay and stuff and there was this guy in my class who I think later went on to come out but certainly didn't have time uh certainly, certainly didn't have a nice time at school for that reason yeah you basically can't talk to strangers at all yeah I I, I empathize with it I went I moved to a secondary school where no one from my primary school went to I was intimidating those two people left me alone I suppose so yeah I I, I really wanted to make friends I really wanted to like um like get stuck in and like meet people and I was really I, I guess I was like really vulnerable about that I, I just um just wanted to make some friends but I get I made I, I guess once they get a foothold they like just stomp on it hey Deku how you doing that's oh, all right we're just all sharing today No, I ended up um, I ended up having counselling when I was at uni um, for like a different reason. But every single time I would go into those sessions, I would just talk about what happened at school. Um, and I, then I started to realise that a lot of the issues I was having were more to do with the self esteem issues that I'd carried forwards. Um, and what, and then I talked about that with a counsellor for like I think I think I was in counselling for almost a year. Look at that skeleton. Um, and uh, I I start I started to turn around once I realised what the initial problem was. That's all right, Luther. It's nice to it's nice to have a chat. Like it's good to open up. We're here a lot of the time. Like we talk about video games all the time. Um, it's not against the world to acknowledge. You know, <laughs> you know, uh, our innermost thoughts. Hey, Jenna, how you doing? He asked for information that would have taken him 10 years to sift through for his very ill-conceived strategy to prove his business worth to senior managers. Oh my god. Opchan, like, if you don't mind me asking, what sort of sector is your business? Like, what are you, like, banking? Are you law? Are you um, software? Are you... We are getting deep, Jedi. We are. 
Not as deep as Shekel's getting into his KFC mega box. Ban Mert. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, I'm dead. No, there we go. Missed some friends about how I got bullied. Tried to talk to my sister and mum. Oh, I should have just more. Almost too late, yeah. Yeah, my, my parents were very sympathetic, but my parents weren't very empathetic. So when I like continued on over the years with like these really bad um, self-esteem problems, um, and I would still have panic attacks sometimes, and like. I was just like very, I was very low, like in, in retrospect I was much more low than I thought I was. Um, like I thought that it was probably normal to be that sad, and I, in retrospect it was not normal to be that sad. I just remember being told to like just get over it and stuff, like just deal with it. Um, so parents, parents can be like the best and the worst with that kind of thing. Let's get you. Logistics manager for a very large business. Ooh, that's cool. Cool. That's alright, Dickie. I never told anyone I was getting bullied at school and I just kept it to myself. Aww. That's really sad, Jedi. I hope it didn't last forever. Hugs to you too, Dickie. Oh, thanks, Dickie. I managed to get a group of four friends at school. I still have them. I still don't like people to marry eight years to my, to my friends. I suppose. You had a lot of your own shit going on, though. I bet if anybody tried to bully you, you'd be like, look, get in line. Get in line. Get in line, mate. <laughs> Talk to me later. I'm busy. They should male bullies become cops, whereas female bullies become nurses. Not one of them do, but the majority of the bullies become either cops or nurses. That is really interesting. Um, that is really interesting. I don't know what that would be. I, I, I guess you're, you're saying cops because you're from the US. I don't know what that would be like in the UK. Um, there's not so much a power. In, uh, there's not so much a power imbalance in the UK for cops. Um, but I do know that some of the girls who gave me a really good time now work um, in a nursing home. So there's some credence to that. Oh wow. Yeah, that is really interesting. What well, armor is that? It looks bulky and cool. Um, this is Benki's armor. Yeah, Jedi. I I I, I get that tactic. I used to do that as well. Um, when I was having a tough time at school, I would say something like, if I said something and I was like, uh oh, somebody's gonna absolutely roast me for that, I would then say what I thought the roast was going to be and just to try and like undercut people before they had a chance and it usually works it's a good tactic and it helps like thicken your own skin as well so when you hear that you're like ah it's nothing that I wouldn't say so you're like mm. that's like speed run stress No, I mean, like, we've been keeping an eye on the stuff that's been happening in the US um, over the past few months, and it does seem like if you are an abuser or if you are a bully, then you can certainly thrive in, in the police force. Um, you know, the, the, the things that police in the US have, you know, have, um, have available to them, like the opportunities they have, seems to, like, far exceed the kind of stuff people have access to here. I never showed any response to them so they got bored. Yeah, well, I mean, that's fair enough, Shake. That's fair enough. An increasingly alarmed eye. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, I suppose it's all, I suppose it's all different, eh, Shake? I mean, especially t as a kid, as a kid, to, to be able to have basically no response to being bullied is definitely, definitely rare. You know, I don't, I don't know many people who, as kids, would have been able to just shrug off bullying. Um, when you're, when you're at school and it feels like your whole life being at school, 
Um, it's really difficult. Basically, right? I don't know. Fair enough. I'm. I'm just saying it's. Um, it's pretty remarkable. I wish my attitude towards women was healthier. How so? I want to avoid as much as possible. Um, I want to avoid as much as possible triggering any of those things. Ow. I don't think you are that stoic. Shit. Secretly. It, so it sounds very, uh, very cliche, but I think you are one of those guys that puts up a front. I was less pessimistic in potentially romantic interactions. What kind of stuff are you pessimistic about then, would you say? Yeah, I guess so. Just, um... I know that you take a lot of pride in being stoic, which I guess is fair. But... I don't know. It's kind of good, and in other ways... I feel like it can be pushing stuff down. Really plunder. <laughs> Just everybody has potential. Seems to be plan. Oh god, where is he? I gotta find him now. The envies. Where is he? Oh, he's there. Right. Don't worry, there's a lot of them too, but I just see enough people. Oh, yeah, I didn't mean that kind of thing. Oh, Luther. I'm glad I finally found that. Not Rocky Robbie. Oh, I keep forgetting to clear the, the cannons as well. Oh god, let's just go. Let's just go. What could possibly be worse than this?
Cool, can't wait to see what you've got different. Come on, King Oset. I don't know where his back specifically is, but we can find it out together. time where are you where's the eye I'm never fast enough. I will give all these messages a read in a minute. And they're proper do as well. I don't mean to uh, ignore. You know, I wouldn't. If I couldn't. Ah, this guy's much better with the brute counter. Because, like, with Phantom. Um, you would hear him make the noise and then you'd have to sort of like snap and just kind of hope that you'd caught the burst attack. Um, but with this, you can just brute whenever you hear the noise. I like that. Rocky Robbie. Hehe, <laughs> you know what I mean. I was at kid school, ugly, didn't dress good, had and still have that one friend, honestly, barely to best because I felt unmotivated too, extremely bipolar, the class literally saw me as no personally. Uh, I, I'm sorry about that, thank you. Uh, if it makes you feel any better. I was a real ugly kid. Real ugly kid. I got bullied for being ugly so much. I had like, um... Oh, I was just gross. I was really gross. Um, and then at one point I, d I had this amazing idea to um, cut my hair really short as well. Um, because like, all the girls were doing like pixie cut hair. And then everybody just thought I was an ugly boy. So I actually had people walking around being like, is that a boy? And I was like, oh. <laughs> I was a really ugly kid. Um, so I, I kind of get, I kind of, I kind of get it. I won't assume, but I kind of get it. Yeah, so but yeah, I, I guess um, I did a lot of writing as well when I was at school. I think it's something that people, uh, people gravitate to. Um <laughs> Plunder. Fair. Isn't Inori's grace really good? On me a magic room though. Figsy! How you doing? Let's see what we got. Uh, I need to inherit something onto my first ranged weapon. No, no, no. Um, my head armor. Toughness could do. Extra damage taken. That would be good. Could put that on the head armor. Sentiences. 
uh, sentience is the awareness that you're alive, right? Like, flowers aren't sentient even though they're living, right? Um, projectile damage taken is good. Fall damage taken. Mm. Toughness. I could do. I've already got toughness plus eight though. You mean a Neo too? No idea. I thought you were asking a really um interesting question then. On your wife's option. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know. Yeah, you start a galaxy brain discussion and now you have to stay here for the extent of it. Get a buff as you use them. Okay, thanks. Fair enough, thank you. Um, I'm gonna wear this. I'm gonna wear this. I'm gonna wear this. Melee weapon. Okay, that's fine. Let's use a whetstone. Can I not use a whetstone? Why not? I'm wearing different stuff. Oh, is it because I... Well, I mean, I don't have the constitution required to wear uh, Yoshi's helmet, but I have the all the other requirements for the, for the other things. I'm in danger. How you doing, Fixie? Okay, thank you. Does anybody know a really obvious reason why I can't use this? Whetstone? How have you been saying it? What do we miss? Wheat stone! Well, we can call it a wheat stone if you want. But then I'll have somebody come into stream and be like, um, streamer, I think you'll find it's a wet stone. And I'll be like, I know it was a joke. Actually. Oh, got it. Get some mine. <sighs> well, I don't know how to do whatever I was supposed to do, so let's put my usual shit on. Teacher always said it like that's fine. It's fine, Luther, I don't mind. Okay. Um Let's lock that. Uh, let's get armor. Oh. 
don't know. That's all right, Deku. Thank you very much. And Evie B, how you doing? I should be doing everything perfectly. Oh. Ah, oh, Baker, thanks for the hug. I hope you're having a good evening, Baker. We all miss your shit chat. Faith boss in Demon's Souls and Neo One. My favourite boss in Demon's Souls, appearance wise, is the Fool Idol. Fool's Idol. I think she looks lovely. Um, but in terms of like fun, uh, I'm just cycling through them in my head. Um, Oh, maybe the flame lurker? I quite like the flame lurker. What about you? Uh, near one. Um, uh, I really like the nine-tailed fox, but mainly because I just love the way it looks. Uh, but for favourite fight... Um, I like uh, Yukiona. That's a really good fight. Uh, I like when you fight Yukiona and Nobunaga at the same time. I hated that at first, but I like it now. Do your cats like sleeping in your, in your old clothes? Um, they do sleep in the wash basket, so presumably they do. I actually meant to press no for that um, because I just realised that I don't have the requirements to wear that armour. Awkward. Well, we can just beef up our constitution a bit. Old hero is great, but I played with a magic build. Um, wait a minute! I actually did. I actually did. I actually did a demon souls boss ranking. Hey, Will, how you doing? I actually did a demon souls boss ranking on YouTube. Um. Oh, did you did you did you see it? Um, I guess I didn't talk about my favorite. But the thing is, with um, with uh, the whole old hero, you can kill him in one hit with firestorm. So I never what I never saw any of his moves. Oh, uh, fair enough, Luther. Yeah, Saika Megumichi. Saika is really fun. Um, especially if you've got some shuriken to knock him down with. You probably scoped, yeah, probably. So, I'm glad that I found out about a way out because I didn't see that before because the Chinese bellflower dagger was in front of the in front of the emission, so I didn't actually know that was there. Um, it's good because we were trying to go into like a much later one, a much a much later mission, and I was like losing a lot, and I'm glad to to see that um, it was actually just because we'd missed something. DLC Red Dude, your favourite is Sanita? Sanitary Towel? Mr. Rob! Mr. Rob, wh who's your favourite Neo One Boss? Sweet Rob. Santa, yes. Santa Yukimura. 
I like um, the Orochi fight as well, but the first time I did it, I got really angry and really salty with it. Because it is one of those that it's really hard to just keep an eye on what's going on around. Like, I don't like boss fights where I have to crowd control and, like, keep an eye on what's going on. Sasuke, really, Mr. Rob? Dati uh, Shigazane is fun. He's one of those. He's a boss that will kill you in a single hit. Um, he's a huge frustration. I guess he's there to teach, like. I guess he's there to teach you not to get greedy. Like, properly don't get greedy. Um, so I respect that. Bosh! Hey Bosh, thank you so much for the raid! Hello, hello Bosh, how you doing? When you said fun, you meant not fun? What, what did I say? Ninjas and Tompers. Sasuke was such a pain. When we fought him on um, Fair for the Afterlife in New Game Plus 3, I just cheesed him. I just dropped on him. How you doing, Bosh? You're underleveled for him. I don't think it's ever possible to be appropriately leveled for Shigazani. I mean, I've, I beat him, what, like, nine times over the course of three New Game Plus cycles. Um, and you're, you're never ready for him. He, he just does so much damage. He's, he is there to kill you in one hit. Like, that's the whole... That's his whole deal. Um, you gotta, like, hop in and hop out. Like a city bus, you know. I that is true. Just waiting for DLC. <laughs> what are you doing, kid? Something amazing, I guess. Me too. Sasuke's grab is so annoying. Everything about him is really annoying. Maria was fun. Are we talking about Blood Bond now? Oh no, Maria, Maria. Maria is fun. She's another. She's another situation where they'll just kill you in one hit. When we did, when we fought her on Way of the Demon, it was clutch like the whole way, whole way. Spider chick, jumbo mumbo. Oh shekel. Raise your standards, man. You don't have to. You don't. <laughs> you don't have to be attracted to women who eat you when they're done with you. Ah, oh, the vampire girl is cool. She's really cool. It's really cool when her like head opens and she's got all those tentacles. Scoby. Final boss. You mean you mean the nine tail fox? Oh wait, you mean Atakamaru? Atakamaru is really cool. Yeah. Orochi was cool, but the fight itself is shit. It's so annoying. Like, just getting sniped by some big snake while you're trying to do something else. The cult missions in Neo were very fun. Which oh, which ones? When you mission three. This is a ambush waiting to happen, isn't it? I remember this place. You never played co-op on this old one. Oh fair. We used to, I remember when Neo 2 first came out, we would all co-op uh, the Twilight missions as a stream. Um, and I was very happy to co-op with the strong, but like when I'm getting when I'm you know, I'm when I'm getting down, when I'm getting in the zone, I'm like, I'm doing this myself. Leave this to me. Nobu Takamaru. Yoshi! Russell! 
Oh, the one with the Tekken and Hanzo. I hated that. But if you come back supremely overleveled and overgeared from your time in Wave the Neo, it's really easy. I wonder why. This boss really reminds me of Bonimusha 3. Wow, I wonder why. It's just so weird because we played Neo 2 first and then played Neo 1 and then the Neo 2 DLC came out again. And it's so weird seeing all of these old enemies. Because, like, for me, these were the original game's enemies, because Neo 2 was the original game I played. Um, so then we go back to Neo 1, which is, like, a very polished, refined version of this. Oh, and Witcher Katsu and Hands who help you. I, I, I get it, yeah. That, that is a really fun mission, yeah. I was like, what do you mean you enjoy the one where you fight the both of them? Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Nice. Got the iceberg. Where's the goldberg? Boing. Okay. Found him. Shickle, you penis. You have to really emphasise the P as well. Penis. Oh, Warrior of the West Gauntlets, finally. Sign. Me. Up. That's not that useful anymore. Awkward. Penis. Nut. Oh. Do you speak to each other in Dutch or English? Or does it depend? Hey, hey, Ray, how you doing? Oh, nice one, Jay. What did you get? What are you eating? Sup? How's my favorite Ray? Mmm, Subway. Good night, Luther. Thanks for coming. There's so much nut on my disc. How's the stream going? It's going really well, thanks, Ray. Um, I've managed to achieve much more than I thought I would today. I was thinking for the Skyrim stream, we could introduce things like stream challenges and forfeits. So maybe stuff like um, like uh, swap weapons after this um, after this dungeon, or for the next hour you have to explore every dungeon you find, or for this stream you have to explore every dungeon you find, or um, 
fists only, you know, stuff like that. But I don't know which challenges to do or how to implement them so that it's like balanced and everybody gets to do it. They gave me a boatload of napkins. Ah, I know what I'm sleeping on. I don't know. What do you guys think would be fun? Because I want to. I want to have. A, I want to have like something in place so that I don't go sneaky archer. You want backseat bingo? We can make backseat bingo tomorrow, actually. Or we could um. We could brainstorm some ideas now, and I'll write them down. Like well, the best kind of backseat saw that you've seen. Slash like. Advice. Like, oh, I know that you're in New Game Plus 5 of Neo, but let me explain to you uh, the lore of this land. Let me, let me tell you, uh, let me tell you what damage is. This boss is gonna be weary, weary, scary, but you can summon me if you need to, and we can, we can try and do it together. I'm like, well, I'm on New Game Plus 4, I know. Use the restoration glitch. Alright, I'll write that down. Use the telekinesis exploit. Um, I'm gonna get, is this your first playthrough? Not because I don't normally enjoy getting asked that, because I get asked that a lot and it's a very genuine question. Um, but Skyrim? You should be like, is this your 10th playthrough or your 11th? Beat Neo 2 with one hand. I reject your challenge, Bosch. Um, put a bucket on your head. And steal the thing. Steal the Briar thing's heart. Briar heart's heart. I love how you forgot what he was called. You were like, steal the Briar thing's heart. Steal the Briar heart's heart. Yeah, is this your first playthrough? Should be in the middle. I feel like I already lost all the game I had. Ah, oh, plenty. You got it back. <laughs> Sorry, Bosch. I, I would never be able to do that. I reject. Gratefully. Well, I'm worried about that, um, Will, because I don't know what you mean. Go to X location now. S why aren't you using shit weapon now? All right. Um. Uh. You need oh Konarik. Oh, I see. Oh yeah. Um. Kona Rick. Clue. You need to go. You need to drop everything and go and fetch. Do this really random quest for a very minor advantage. Obscure exploit for powering level skill. Hey, Baker's here. Summon Twebber Fewibs. Use low stance. Respect to beat the game. Switch your weapon. Use the correct gun with zero. Stop having fun. Respect immediately. All right, we'll get respect. Do you know you can prestige your skills? They put so much spinach that they can't fold the sandwich and wrap it properly. To be honest, Jay, that sounds delicious. Also, you guys get spinach in your subway? Jealous. 
What are some like generic back seating that we get? Um, or like general like condescension? What's something really generic that we get? Put what Jay said on the back seat bingo. What somebody told me? Somebody tells me about their spinach. You can what well, Scooby? Uh, they added it in an update. So if you haven't played it in a while, you might not have seen it. Alright, Jane, run that down. Uh, why are you using... Why are you using weapon name? You should be using equally as a good weapon name. Um, that's a good one. That's actually we're gonna get that a lot because we had that we've had we have that a lot as well. Um, do you know moon sugar is a drug, and you can actually buy it? Play stealth archer. And also, why are you playing Stealth Archer? Because we'll get both of those. Hey, Kinky Thoughts! Hey! In the Dragon Ball DLC, while you're in the Black Book domain, go to the side paths, there's soul gems and spells you can pick up there. Go and get the basic as fuck loot that you can get anywhere. Mordred, hey! Mordred, hey. Oh. Ah, well, thank you, Mordred. We're trying to come up with backseat bingo cards. We're starting Skyrim tomorrow, and um, it's going to be. If it's anything like Fallout was, it's probably going to be an absolute nest of backseaters telling me like really condescending basic stuff, shouting at me for using the wrong weapons and builds, calling me a casual. Um, so we're trying to like think of some really good common backseating that we get, um, slash like basic condescension that we get, and we're going to all play backseat bingo throughout throughout the Skyrim journey. The bingo, I'm, I'm just making a huge list. What I'm going to do is make a huge list of, of stuff for the bingo. I'm going to put it in the Discord, and then you guys can make your own bingo cards based on what you think is going to come up most often. Um, and then like we'll all have different bingo cards, so there won't be like one winner. Oh, you like this game? Name the guy who gets the devs coffee. Yep. Oh, you like this game? Well. Do you, uh, Tell me really obscure fact to prove to prove you're a true fan I can't wait for like a um go left all right I'll put go left um I really um I really really uh can't remember what I was gonna say no one you know if you can follow us with the ebony blade it gets more powerful that's a good one If you kill followers, the ebony blade, it gets more powerful. Oh yeah, what mods? How about shame? Uh, I get shamed for not having any mods. Because asking somebody if they have mods isn't too bad, right? Hey Mari, we are um, we are making backseat bingo for when we start Skyrim tomorrow. Um, and we're just trying to find a list of stuff that we usually get back seated for. What rings you got, bitch? Path and is voiced by Mario. See, when people give you like really basic stuff, like Path and is voiced by Mario, it's not back seating, but it's like, you know, weapon using is really weak. We actually have that one, Mordred. Did your brother teach you how to play? Did your brother? Husband, boyfriend, patriarch, uncle, 
male neighbor, male friend, male colleague, male, teach you how to play this game. Is this your first RPG? Restoration glitch, nice, thank you. Uh, is this your first RPG? I like that one. Like, it isn't back seating, but it's like... It's the kind of... I, you know, somebody assuming that you have absolutely no idea how to use a controller. Are you trying to impress somebody? You don't need to play video games. To earn... My, um, uh, what's the word? Husky male attention. Hmm, husky. Yeah, um, at what point would you say that was then, Shekel? The arrow point is where you need to go. Go to the, I, w I was going to be like, Mordred, that's ridiculous. But then I was like, no, we've had that before. Go to the arrow point to find your next objective. What stone blessing you got? Um, actually no. Your stone blessing is shit. You would have known this if you played Oblivion. Oh yeah. Stone blessing is shit. Um, your character's race is shit. Because I'm going to play as an Argonian. We're going to get a lot of that. I feel like when you have the list and post it to us, then we can discuss which wines might not be too easy and not really backseating. Okay. Um, what condescending explanation of law? And then the closer we get to the end of the game, the more points you get. The closer we are to the end of the, the story. Or the more hours we've spent, we add like a multiplier for the points you get for that. More hours we spend in game the higher the multiplier we get for that. I'm gonna say like times 0.1 for 10 hours in, times 0.2 for 20 hours in. For 20 hours in. Um, so you could get, you could get, a, once we're 100 hours in you get double points for that. Did you know that Solstein was in Morrowind? You're not a true fan if you didn't play Morrowind. <sighs> Morrowind is better than this, said somebody who was browsing Twitch by Skyrim. Fair enough, Mordred. Um, we have definitely had people who've gone the condescending route from that. So it's at what point do you, do you recognize that things have turned? You share your birthday with him, Jay. That's actually incredible. Yeah, I know. Like, oh, I really like this band. This music's really good. Oh well, tell me, tell me the main character's birthstone. What a knob. If you like Skyrim, name every NPC. Let me let me just kill this gun out right there. I know we've already got. Uh, oh, you like Skyrim? Name. Answer this obscure question. Um, but I'm gonna split these into two. Oh, you know, answer this very obscure question. Name everything about this. I think those are two very distinct ones. Speak in the Dover language. Or they'll come in and they'll speak in the Dover language and they'll be like, oh, you don't understand? Hmm, interesting. Uh, oh, you like Skyrim? Name every NPC. Oh, you like Skyrim? What is the entire uh, lyrics? What are the entire lyrics? For the main theme? Uncut. Not a single sardine. 
So I might point that out, Shekel, but that's an edge case. Take on Skyrim with a wooden sword. Yep. Um. I'll put these in the chat and then you guys can help me sift through them. Well, I'll put them in the Discord and then you guys can help me sift through them. It's going to be really bad if nobody actually comes in and back seats and Skyrim is actually the most like welcoming community on the internet. Good night, Plunder, you sleep tight. Oh, that's a good one. I'll take that. You're taking on Skyrim with a wooden sword and a longbow. How long is that taking you? They're very selfish, so they'll be condescending. No! We'll call it backseating bingo because of the alliterative value, but it's going to be like a general um, rudeness, condescension video uh, bingo. Well, we'll call it backseat bingo, but it will be more than this. Tedious wankers bingo. Right, if you can think of things that begin with B, then we're in the money for that. How slow they are when you sloth them. So funny. Based bingo. Alright. Everything is one shot. I may be taking on, I didn't say I was taking on legit. Oh, good. All right. So you're doing like hell versus hell. Got you. The BB. Yeah. I've actually never had the how many tries one. Except maybe with Dark Souls bosses. People are like, how many tries did it take you to do this boss? <laughs> it only took me two. I'm like, cool. Use the alchemy exploit. Okay, so what's that? Oh, goodness. Uh oh, I was reading chat. require elixir. Here we go. Right, uh, these are all, these are these these have been cooking. They're ready for the uh They're ready for the oven of Discord. Welcome back, DQ. Baker, thank you. Nice. Does your boyfriend know you're using his games console? Right, 
I'm going to copy these into the Discord. Um, I'm going to copy these into... Oh, that's Peach's Discord. That's not my Discord. Oh, so when you put something in Cursed. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Okay, um... I, I've put it in open world RPGs. Feel free to look through. <laughs> oh, 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 oh god. Oh. <laughs> That's my response every time I check cursed. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh. I can't believe you saved that to your computer. Deku, I didn't know that was the situation you were dealing with. To be honest, I kind of thought you lived alone. Do you have anybody you can call? What the hell just happened? Uh, Shekel sent me a really disgusting video. Let me get a drink. Get a drink.
Ooh. Well, welcome to the Discord, Deku. And I'm really sorry, but hopefully we can hang out. Um. One minute. Uh, channel. Channel, channel, channel. I need to stop posting my go live link in the stream, um, in the Discord. I forgot to do this, but I need to be able to have it. We've been live for 120, but we've been live for 160 minutes. Come chill with some Neo 2. Woo! Enjoy your bath. Okay. Warrior of the West Gauntlets. Eccentrix Greaves. Cool, cool. Oh, I forgot how you say this. Kyrus. Kyrasa. Twelve. Uh huh. Ooh. You shitty. Let's see in a bit, shit. Have a lovely BRB. Nine and nine. Ten and ten. Um. Oh, 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 oh. Eleven and. Oh, yeah, that doesn't count. Um. I'll lock these then. It's right, Deku. Um, you can be honest with us. We might not always be able to empathise, but we do sympathise and we do care. Um, I just don't always know what to say. I'm always worried that it'll make things worse. Uh, so I promise I do care, even if I come off a bit blase. Okay. Um. Okay, we haven't unlocked the Warrior of the West bow, but that's fine. At least we've still got 19 million pounds? Okay, so we should do the Chinese Bellflower Dagger, maybe? Uh, Alright, well, we can try it. <laughs> 19 million hula hoops. Good night, Glenn. Thanks for coming by. It's always really nice to see you. I'm glad you enjoy hanging out with us.
Stop using Omnio. You suck. Uh huh. What's that? Oh goodness. Yeet! Oh no, wrong thing. Oh. Whoa, I didn't do anything. Whoa, you can't just do that. You can't just decide that it's my time. Go back to playing The Sims. We've got a big list of them now in the Discord, Jay. If you want to join the Discord, please feel free. I don't- I'm not doing anything! How are you burying me? I'm not attacking you! Does a block count? The Discord. If you follow that there link- Hey, Scopes! If you follow that there link, you can join our Discord. Just like a big, a big fat group chat, um, where we all talk about gross things and have fun. Most of his attacks go forwards, which is good. Bye, Scopes. Why are you running away? Me. Ah, oh, you bastard. Oh, it follows you, I see, okay. Well, this guy has turned out to be a bit above my pay grade, so I'll just leave. We can come back, we can come back. God, I hate you. I'm trying, we try, we try elsewhere, we try elsewhere. Oops. Um, I'm out of here. Magic go bang. Yes. There's some truth to your words, Maester.
Everyone will be back, you dick. We'll be back with some more levels. I have no idea, Shekel, how you went through the game on Dream of the Demon just doing main missions. Your damage output must have been high. I know that you had to eventually go back and do like basically every mission just to unlock a uh, thingy. You know, just to unlock um, the, 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 the DLC, but damn, just don't get hit easy. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Literally, just just stop. Don't even do this. Oh, looks like we got a simp in the house, Shekel. Disgusting. Team Ninja, more like Team Simp. I think I'm joking. Simp for the burst counter, yeah. Simp for the brute. That was lucky. I was about to die then. <laughs> I think. <laughs> ah, you love it. You love a small banter. Nice work! Woo! See, some enemies on Dream of the Demon are really easy to kill. Like, he was three hits. Um, some enemies are not really easy to kill. Cool! Leiduichi, who's that? They got so much health. Ooh. No simping over Lady Uichi now. Simple light to simp. Maybe Nagus is true, gives you nine tails. What? Who, are, who else am I supposed to simp? Show me your feet, Oichi. Put me in a glass jar. Oh, interesting. On this game, can you start a new character without getting rid of your old one, or would that be like a complete wipe? Besides the fact that you could probably make a cloud save. Oh, Skyrim again. Okay, right. Start at the same time as me, tomorrow! With a shitload of mods, yeah, we can compare our journeys through the beautiful land of Skyrim. Subway sandwich is pretty gross. Which which size did you get? Did you get a huge one? I had a subway salad today. It was it was tight. I was like, can I just have loads of Caesar sauce? He was like, I got you, mate. You've packed up the PS4. Damn it. Rip PS4. Might do another legendary playthrough, nice. 
I still like the idea of doing challenges. Maybe people can spend their channel points to like pick either a specific forfeit, which is really expensive, or like pick a lucky dip forfeit. And then we could like get a list of forfeits and like randomly select the forfeit. And it could be like play um, the next the next 20 minutes on legendary, play the next 20 minutes on easy, play the next 20 minutes um, with a with a mace, play the next 20 minutes with magic only, illusion only, etc. etc. No bow. Because the thing is, I'm definitely gonna I'm definitely gonna end up going bow. For long, but the chicken isn't that warm, the olives taste like they're expired and there's too much mayo. Oh, I'm sorry about that, J-Star. I normally associate Subway with fairly like good quality stuff, so it's a shame. I guess that's down to the individual if they haven't kept food fresh. Then if we like that we could start making challenge challenges for like all the games that we play. Couldn't ask for any little bit of it. Oh, that's a shame. Ah, so did you like order it on delivery then? the next NPC you see. Or aggro the next- attack the next NPC you see. Get a bounty in the next town you visit. Things like that. You did the door dash. Nice. We don't have door dash here but I'd like it. Shekel, please organize DoorDash. Kill 12 guards and the next time you find- yeah, exactly. So that would be really good. Um, and cons I, considering I kind of want to do a sneaky Elsha playthrough, but... I guess that that would be so boring to watch. But I think it would be so much fun if we, if we introduced challenges and stuff. DoorDash is like delivery. I'm pretty sure DoorDash is owned by Delivery now, right? I don't know. Only shouts for the next 10 minutes. Yeah, stuff like that. Like, because we've- I can see that we already already have like a ton of good ideas. Um, but it's just how we implement a way for me to get given random challenges to do as a result of something. Like, Tom once did one um, where it was every time she swore she'd get a different forfeit in Dark Souls 3. Um, um, so it could be any time I do something, but at the same time, like, I don't know. It could be a forfeit for me, it could be um, a forfeit for the team. Draw them out of a ball every 10 minutes, that's a good idea. Every time you read to Shekel, I'd never be out of it, I'd never be out of them. Must have no weapon for this boss, exactly, yeah. Pick it out of a hat, it could pick it out of a hat. But what would be the trigger for picking it out of the hat? Would it be every 10 minutes like Jay says, or would it be like every time somebody cashes it in as a channel point reward? Also, I'm gonna see how the conversation, if if it's at all, has continued. No, it has not. Okay. J Star, you're in the Discord. I forgot that I had Discord already. Oh, the latter. That's my vote. Okay. Sure. So we, people can pay channel point rewards to make me do a um a forfeit. 
I guess we have to start another list of forfeits. Um. Oh, fuck. No weapon for this boss. Every 30 minutes I could always also do one on the spot, yeah? Every time you get angry but that's all or nothing, yeah. And also that's- I could be like irritated and like, is that angry? Um, only use shouts. Showers. Oops. Sh shouts for the next 10 minutes. I'm gonna put only use magic for the next 10 minutes. Kill 12 guards in the next town you find. Um, no bow. Put up to legendary for 20 minutes. I'm gonna write in brackets crank up so that I can put that on the thing. There would have to be clear anger, exactly, yeah. And who gets angry at Skyrim anymore, you know? Um, And what, considering we'll probably be streaming Skyrim for about, um, considering there'll probably be about 20 Skyrim streams, we don't need to make the channel points that cheap. We could maybe make them about a thousand. Clear out an entire dungeon unseen without using stealth mechanics. Is that possible in Skyrim? Every 30 minutes you take one out, but we also pay channel points for you to take one. If the bingo point gets filled, you also have to take one out. Alright, I'm copy and pasting that. Use lycanthropy as much as possible. How about can only use lycanthropy to fight enemies for the next hour? Yo, Irish, how you doing? And someone gets bingo, okay. What's up, Irish? You started your new job? Did you move? Uh oh. I heard that. I don't mean like, um, stay as a lycanthrope. I meant more like, every single time I, um, lose my lycanthropy, I have to, uh, just sit and wait for it to recharge before I can kill anything else. Oh, thank you, Irish. We love you too. Meet my suggestion. Let's clear an entire dungeon uh, unseen without using stealth mechanics. I don't know if that is possible. Um, I don't want to poo poo your idea. Uh, but I'm not sure if it is possible. I mean, the AI in Skyrim is pretty. <coughs> You know, pretty thingy. A vampire lord as well. Yep. Yeah. It's an overnight job. Okay, cool. Oh, goodness. What was that noise? Oh, it's you. You can control your brew temperatures, nice. I guess that, that would mean that we would just have to have potions of invisibility on hand all the time though, right? Well, you can sprint without making noise, yeah. <clears throat> maybe that's one that we can add later. Like, we can always add to the list, so maybe, maybe, maybe we can just add that one in. Yeah. 
So once we're at the point where we've got like crazy sneak. Like once we get to the point where we have like a hundred in some of our stats, one of them could be um, prestige, prestige a random stat and I have to pick a stat that I care about the least and put it back down to one. You do Irish, you do. We're going to do a forfeit run. So you can pay channel points to um, to make me to make me pick a random forfeit, and we're just deciding the forfeits now. Chat pick stat stat to respect. Can, how do you respect in Skyrim? Can you remind me? You have cookies. Mm, I'm really jealous on cookies. All thieves guild radiant quests. Do they ever run out? What would that be? Okay. Oh, so that's that so that's prestige, right? Okay. Must kill a dragon with your bare hands. Go and kill a dragon with your bare hands. I'm gonna get really good at that. Kill the next dragon you see with your bare hands. Not my barre hands, my bare hands. For now, obviously not all. Okay, right. Do only Thieves Guild Radiant quests for an hour. They never end, yeah. Got any ideas, Irish? Put the next skill point into speech. Oh wait, you can't just do that, can you? You can't just put a s you have to level speech, okay. Um. Monkey nut. The Skyrim shuffle. You can do the Skyrim shuffle. I can teach you. Teach you, here's a tissue. For your pants, cause you're wet. For your pants, cause you're wet. <laughs> Evangeline, you're not the only one shocked. <laughs> and also strange team, I... I love Game of Poops. Evangeline, I'm, I verbalised to my shock. I feel sick. You must kill absolutely nothing for the next kill. Th okay, kill absolutely nothing for 30 minutes. Interesting. I hope that pops up during the labyrinthium. Do the Skyrim book report skip. What's the Skyrim book report skip? I have to read a Skyrim book and then do a book report on it? Oh, bird in a cage. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Drop everything. Drop everything. Go and find a copy of the lusty Argonian maid. And do a reading. If you can't drop everything, i.e. if you're in Sovereign God, do it at the literally next available convenience. The BDG Unraveled one? I remember what him doing it, but what what do you want me to do? Must kill the next enemy in the most complex manner. Mm. Cast friend on as many enemies as you can for the next 10 minutes. Reload a save back to when you could. Alright, I'm going to copy that and paste it. So I'm going to have one literally at the next available convenience. If you can't drop anything, reload a save. So then there's, two, there's two, two opportunities for that to pop up. We're inventing Skyrim Monopoly. 
Just the in my Skyrim book report bit. No, I, I don't know what you mean, and I can't check. Communicate. Explain to me what I need to do. Communicate. Explain. Go to jail. Oh my god, yeah. Do the most immediate thing that gets you arrested and go to jail. Avoid all civilization for 15 minutes. Avoid all civilization for 15 minutes. Forty seconds into the video, I leave that. Oh, I'm not going to remember that. Will you just explain it to me? Just tell me what I need to do. I mean, you could have explained it to me by now. You could have just told me what to do. He could be speaking to you, and then the second after runs away and isn't seen for the next day. We're basically making the Dragonborn so savior of Tamriel a recluse. I'm a recluse. Burn a cage. Um, we could do corpses and- oh god. Sing the fucking jingle. Oh, okay. Why didn't you just tell me that? Why didn't you just tell me that? <laughs> One, two, three, four words! Four words! Don't Jesus Christ me. I'm Jesus Christ you! Communicate! Um... Pfft. Can't remember how many of these I can do. Can I do these yet? Mm. Okay. For the next hour, not allowed to heal by any means. Put better put down that healing. Right. Um. Let's Hmm. Need to be a vampire for that one. Unless we're during the day. Hour might be a bit much though. So. Um about no uh no sleeping or waiting for the next for the rest of the stream. I assume too much. Uh, I I watched I binged BDG's videos ages ago. I don't know, I don't know them in depth. Back to front. Mm. We'll have to wait for NPCs to show up. When a when a quest when a quest glitches, we'll have to go and do something else. No fast travel for the rest of the stream. I can't decide what to do. I guess I'll do bird in a cage, but I'm not happy about it. I can't believe I'm having monkey nuts for what is essentially dinner. I should travel by foot. Okay. Use the physics to kill enemies with it for the next 10 minutes. No glitching up mountains. Oh god go around the mountains for the rest of the stream. I 
I'm going to do no fast travel for the rest of the stream. No fast travel for the rest of the stream. No horses. Two. No, fa oh, no fast travel for the rest of the stream. No horses. And stay completely to paths. So then there's like three different levels of difficulty we can get for that. But it also means that we're more likely to pick it up, which is good. Does it actually? I guess we can try that. Oh, physically drop, I see. I forget that you can just put stuff on the floor. Have to be carrying too much. No fast travel for the rest of this stream. No horses, and stay completely to paths, and be over encumbered when traveling between cities. When traveling outside of cities. I think we should put input some where it's like use only a mace or use what you see use what you find for the next um, certain amount of time maybe do the entirety of no stun and turn until it's done Ooh. use what you find for the next hour start and finish no stone unturned You're a lot better write some down to things to talk about tomorrow because we learn. <laughs> we have to write down notes, things to discuss. Um, we do destruction magic only. Uh, illusion magic only. Conjuration magic only. Uh, yep. Yeah. Um, piggyback. Your companion must do all the killing. You can damage enemies, but you can't kill them. VIP, yeah. Happens if you do. Uh, maybe I have to immediately pick up another forfeit. It says alone. Yeah, but you said kill things alone. Your companion must kill everything alone. And also, I really like the idea of me being able to help, but not being able to have the finishing the finishing touch. So, word your wishes next. Better next time. This is Aladdin now. Or we could also do a version where I could maybe do one version where your opponent has to your companion has to hinder and kill, and one where your opponent has to just your companion just has to just kill. You cannot get involved. You cannot get involved. This is Monkey's Paw! Well, I must kill the- oh god. I must kill the companion immediately. That's a good one. Unless we have Serrano, in which case- oops.
use your most recently acquired Daedric Artifact. Good night, Cookie! I hope you enjoyed your look. You sleep tight. God, we're getting Kingo's stuff out the wazoo now. What is a wazoo? Oh, hello. All right. I've got one actually. Uh, can use no potions for the rest of the stream. Food items only. Oh, that whole thing is a red attack. That's kind of crazy. Ah, oh. uh, no potions for the rest of the stream. Food items only. Can I get right? Yeah, no potions for the rest of the stream. Um, absorb health magic only. No potions for the rest of the stream. Restoration only. <laughs> and copy that. You can create a save during the Greybeard's Council. Every time you land on the forfeit, you have to save it. You are reload back to that save, sit through the council, then return to the program. Wow. Okay, I'll put like five of those in the hat. Any save over there. I wish you could like lock saves on Skyrim or any game really. But I know this one's important. Um. Uh, read every book and note you find for the rest of the stream out loud. Kill Parthenois. Ah, jeez. the next before so you know what, I'm ready feel nothing for that big lizard I'm ready to join the Stormcloaks. I suppose I suppose it doesn't matter which side we join. Oh fuck's sake. Um It's not that I wouldn't pick them because I think they're enormous racists, which they are. Um it's more just how do we make how do we make that work? We have to do both anyway. Um, we don't have to do Stormcloaks and Imperials. We just have to finish the Civil War quest. It doesn't matter which side of the war we're on. Oh, 
Oh, I just lost quite a few souls actually, just realised that now. Hmm, let's go in here. Wow. Put it to a vote. Oh yeah, alright. Let's kill every monarch you come across. You can actually kill the monarchs or are they um, protected NPCs? Most are essential so they don't die, okay. It's alright, Mari. It's, it's a valid idea. It's a Wabba Jack only for 30 minutes, okay. The amount of shit I'm gonna have to be carrying around with me just in case. Use the Wabber Jack only for 30 minutes. to go grab it as soon as possible. Okay, fair. Pizza. Help! Must store everything on the highest accessible mountain. Oh god, that's gonna go really badly when it all despawns. Hello? <laughs> Hello! Sorry. Yeah, especially the um, the other list that I put in there. We should definitely all take a look through that. Um, scrub it clean. Get it polished. I suppose if we only have Azura Star, which is unlikely because I don't really go to Winterhold very early, um, we would just disregard because we've got like a hundred hours of the game, so it doesn't matter too much if a forfeit doesn't work the first time because eventually it will. I was like, excuse me. But no, we've got some really good ideas. Um, I 
Need to think of some like non-combat based ones that we can do in cities and things. Don't necessarily involve harm, just like dumb shit. Yeah. Could be like walk to the next town over encumbered. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's alright. Well, I think we can just um accommodate. Hey Lord, is your name really Mert? No. My name my real name is not Mert. Go to the Cloud District, sit on a bench for one minute. Well, there's a male name in Turkish, so I was like, what the hell? Yeah, I have a, I've had a lot of people say that. Um, I didn't know that when I made the nickname. Um, so that was that was a good thing to learn. Um, <laughs> that, that, that's been a fun one. But I, I feel too protective of it now, so I won't change it. So I just have to occasionally have people come in and be like, is that your name? And I'm like, no, sorry. That's life, you know. I have to learn the words to Ragnar the Red now. <laughs> I'm going to copy paste that. Oh god. That was very quiet. Even KK is a possible surname in Turkish? Is it really? Oh, go oh goodness. I can Google it as a, yeah. I can just learn them on the fly. Like it's easy. Oh wow. Well, thanks for letting me know, Danger. Uh, that's great. That's great. I've got a bit of sunken cost fallacy about it as well because I'm like, well, I've got 800 people who know me as that name, so I can't change it. And then I'm like, but I could change it. Five towns away. Okay. That was good! Now where's that guy gone? He's probably despawned and respawned. KK means skateboard in Turkish? Cool! A Mert skateboard. I really appreciate that insight actually. <laughs> Goodness! Maybe I should change, change my username, but what would I be then? Who would I be? But what do you mean five different towns away? Like, in, in like clockwise or? Oh fuck! Yeah, somebody tried to steal my account, um, so I stole his username. <laughs> so his name was probably Mert KK. Oops. Mert skateboard. Oh god. The more I learn about the word Mert KK, the less I want it as a username, but like... It's just one of those... Like, I haven't bothered to... encourage any other names, so... Oh, okay, fair enough, Mari. I will write that down when I've almost not died. 500 septims! Okay. For fuck's sake. I am rad. Have to seal say 500 septims worth of loot. I like that. Because at first I thought, that is a lot of fucking loot. And then I was like, you know what? That's the point. That's the challenge. It makes you feel fine. Thanks, danger. Yeah. 
Oh god. Oh god! I wish New Year 2 was not PS4 exclusive. Same. Same here, Danger. Like, I don't really agree with exclusives and stuff. I think it's really dumb. I want I want my mates to be able to play this. I want to be able to talk to them about it. I hate exclusivity. My my friends shouldn't have to pay for a console that is about to become obsolete. Um just for the sake of being able to co-op a game with me. They kill spiders barehanded. Nice. Well, that's why they're the pros. Use buffs, debuffs too much. Okay. I am beginning to understand how that feels. Buy nothing until you've bought a house. Okay, that's cool. Alright, I like that. Especially if we get that in like minute one, I'll be like, great. Scavenging time. Oh, that's fair enough, uh, that's fair enough, danger. I wouldn't normally waste something like this on you, but I was about to die, so. Oh, now I'm slow. Oh, fuck's sake. Must have zero gold for 30 minutes. Okay. Sad to see that all the attacks seem like the same as Neo 1. I guess so. I, I kind of like that. I feel like this game has taken Neo 1 and like really developed on it. Really like built on the, the, the winning formula. So I don't really mind that it's there's a lot of functional similarities because they've added so much to it that it just feels like the natural evolution. I quite, I quite like it. Comes up as many times as houses until you have to save up for Proud Spire. Oh yeah, so we could go like cheapest to most expensive. Be right back. You love Bloodborne, you actually... I used to play it when I had a PS4. Yeah, I love Bloodborne as well. And it's just another one that I'm really sad is a is an exclusive. Um, a lot of my mates have Xbox One and I really want them to play Bloodborne. Raise an army. What do you mean? Possible without mods. Oh. I believe in From Software it will come to PC. Yeah, I, I really hope so as well. Um... It really sucks. I think console exclusivity is dumb. Like, it doesn't make people buy your console. It just means that less people play your game. 
And Sony seems to think that their IP is like really, really, really valuable. Like it's worth hoarding um, because customers will become loyal to you and they will buy it anyway. And I'm like, mm, you can hope, but. It is, but the the value of your IP shouldn't um, mean more to you than actually having people enjoy the games that you make. Otherwise, what's the point in making games, you know? Play blindfolded for five minutes. That's a good idea. I have to focus now, but... normally just get stuck on your wing. Oh, that's a good idea. Please don't let me forget that. You fanny. How did I fight you before? What did I do? Because I know that I've beaten you a lot. And yet. You only need to focus on optimizing your game for one console device. It's still pretty scummy. I I don't think it's that hard for a multi-million dollar um, corporation to optimize their game. I don't think. I think that if any company can optimize their game for different consoles, then any company can optimize their game for different consoles. Like, oh no, FromSoft. FromSoft can't afford to optimize their game! What do we do? It's like, yeah, they can. They've done it for like five other games, you know? Um, chat has to describe what's on the screen for five minutes. Okay. Lydia is a bad companion. Welcome back, Mordred. Welcome back, Diku. Just like the only reason that um, console exclusives exist is for money, 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 the value of which we never see. That goes to shareholders, people who probably don't even give a shit about the kind of content that's released. Welcome back, Diku. I'm glad you're feeling better. Well, you can be competitive. If you make a better console, then that, that's com that's competition, you know? Just having a monopoly on things doesn't make your console better. It just deprives people of stuff that they would enjoy, which is... Competitive in a sense, yeah, but also really hostile to the consumer. I'm a software engineer, it may not make too much time according to how the code is written, however, there will mean less time to find bugs. The problem is the release date is important as the company has to have a good look on the outside. Then set a release date that you can meet. Oh, fair enough, Mordred. You know, set a release date that you can meet. Set a release, uh, you know, um... If other companies can do it, then any company can do it. Especially from soft. I mean, they delay their games, and people don't mind because they have such goodwill with the company. Um, people will wait for a good game. Then you'll be like, I will only release a game in 10 years. Yeah, but then no company would optimize a game for all consoles because then, as we exist right now, no company would have games on multiple consoles. That's. 
I mean, you only have to look around to know that that high hypothetical situation isn't true. What are you playing Skyrim on? PS4? You're usually really hostile for the consumer, but at least it has some ideas, usually. That's not a really good outlook to see competition as, though. Competition should be about making the best product so that consumers buy it because it's the best product. Not by, like, depriving consumers of things just to force them to pay for your console. Because then you're not making a competitive product, you're holding your consumers hostage. And it's very different. Control upside down, that's good. Uh, when I've finished dying, I will get that. But they want the good money by holding the consumer hostage. You shouldn't um, excuse that as like the norm. You shouldn't be like, yeah, but they just want to hold you hostage so they can get your money. Like, that's not a good thing. That's not something that we should be saying is like a baseline for competition. That is an active choice made by a company. She'd be like, oh yeah, they're holding us hostage because they, they want us to pay it like that. No, that's that's what I'm arguing against. That's what I'm saying is a bad thing. You'll need to hire people who know how the PC GPU works or how the Xbox compiles. This would require more resource and who would not want that? Both Sony and the stakeholders. Yeah, but if any company can do it, then it's not an excuse. If we're like, oh we can't we can't afford to bring people in who can who can optimize things for other consoles. Then how can any any company in the world do that? Like, how how is it possible for everybody else? Like, that's not really an argument. Because it's visually false. Ah, uh, same here. Same here, Will. I just wish that Sony would stop pretending that it's something that they can't do when it's something they very actively choose not to do. Thank you, Jakey. Ah, oh, bastard. Ow. I, I don't really like Xbox exclusives. We can't stop it, but we're not we're not here to stop it. Like I don't think for one second that this conversation will conclude with it being ended. I mean, we can talk about things that we'd like to be different without, um, with, like, in the knowledge that we can't stop things from being the way they are. Like, we can idealise, we can talk about things that we would like, um, and we can, we can pick holes in, like, silly reasons that companies give us that it can't be different. Like, you're allowed to, you're allowed to talk about stuff that you don't enjoy. Like, we can't stop it. Yeah, I know. That, that, otherwise, I, if, 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 yeah, but you totally get that, but you're also like using it as an excuse for a reason that we can't discuss it. Naughty Dog is over Sony, Alex make Bloodborne, Sony paid from stuff extra money to make it exclusive. I know, but I'm saying that they shouldn't have. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm saying that it's dumb. I'm saying that it's not good practice. I'm saying it's shit for the consumer. Like, I know the facts. I know that exclusivities are paid for and it's all about the money and I am saying that that is not a good reason. Yeah, exactly, Biggs. Yeah, it's it's so st it's so stupid, Will. I don't you know, you said I it's not that bit that I argued against Shekel. It's I don't like I don't like exclusives, but it's the sad reality and we can't stop it. That's the bit that I argued against. That's the bit that I raised. I didn't. I didn't care that you said I understand why companies do it, but I hate them. Like, that's that's valid. I that's that wasn't the bit that I had the problem with. Like, that's that's fine by me. But like, I don't know. I'm trying to stop a conversation by saying like, oh, there's nothing we can do. Like, I I know, but you know, I just want to talk about it. I 
guess, I guess, Shrek. It's just like when people say like, oh, well, it's just how it is. I'm like, it's a, it's got a very final tone to it. And I get, I didn't know that you didn't mean to end the conversation with that. Um, but I get really annoyed when people say that. And it's more like when people say it, say it in like a political way. Like, oh yeah, well, I mean, like, I, like it's like when people are like, oh, well, I mean, there are like 50% like of the world is below the poverty line, but like, oh, that's just how it is. I'm like, well, I don't, shut, no. You still talk Very about it. Good. Thanks for the follow, Danger. I'm heading to bed, it's only 2 a.m. here. Okay. Good night, Danger. And thank you for the follow. saying we need to solve exclusivity but I want to bitch about it I think that people not you Shik um make excuses for companies to help them cope with the fact that companies are not on their side and I don't like it fair enough thank you No, I don't want to be famous. Thank you. No. <laughs> J-Star, oh, thank you so much for the subscription. I'm glad you've enjoyed me getting really passionate about console exclusivity. Thank you, Deku. I will do my best. I'm glad that you've enjoyed hanging out with us so much since last couple of days. It's been lovely to meet you. Oh, bastard. I still find PS4 Xbox releases exclusives really funny. Why, why, why do you find them funny? Because people argue about their quality? I feel like people tend to elevate exclusives in their own personal perception just because they're exclusives. Hubris. Juice. Oh, he arrives, son of Rome, right? I only remember. I remember because Yahtzee gave it a very scathing review.
Order 1886. I know that one as well. Ah, oh, you dig. That was going much better than the other attempts as well. Try to pull stairs from each other, yeah. And I remember Rise because it was... Um, it involved uh, the use of the connect something something. And you had to like shout in your living room and people found it really awkward. How is that a one shot kill? Seeing a bit shit. Oh, it did. To be fair, Xbox fucked, fucked the Expo at launch because they insisted that the Connect was going to be absolutely necessary, and you could not get the get the console without it. And then, like. A few months later, they were like, um, we, don't, we haven't had any sales. Um, I will take the connect out, please. Oh, yeah, fucking love Horizon Zero Dawn. I got the plat for it last year. Oh, yeah, and they were like, we've introduced this amazing new measure that prevents you from sharing games with your friends. It's called a DRM, and um, it means that you can never, ever, ever share games with your friends. Everybody has to pay, you can never buy a pre-owned game. Isn't that amazing? And they were like really amazed when everybody was like, no, that's not amazing. These enemies do a lot of damage. We are in New Game Plus 3, but they also have a lot of health. Or oh, New Game Plus 2, sorry. Come on, do it. Do the good one. Oh no, I thought that was another attack. Oh, how did I get three elixirs? Did I always have three elixirs? I hate when I use a yokai attack and then I don't have any yokai juice left! Got ya. Whew. 
The makers of Halo 5 didn't know Master Chief was an important character. What do you mean? Had they just never played the game before? How to share games we saw released that Ah, oh, I didn't see that! Step one and a clip of a guy handing a disc to another guy. That's insane. That's so funny. That's so shady. They were idiots. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Um, I, I, I've, you, I think you have to send it to Shekel, um, because of the thing. The thing. I like the cut of the SX's gib, but it's the same matter of nothing I want to play in it. Yeah, I guess um, Xbox <coughs> cater to a demographic that really enjoys big smashy smashy shooty shooty. Thank you. the um, equivalent for the Xbox then? Sure thing, Deku. They've been losing all the exclusives. They used to be the shooty shooty console, but now PlayStation seems to be taking all that away and PC. Yeah, I get. I I feel like um, um, PS4's exclusives have been things like Horizon Zero Dawn, Bloodborne, The Last of Us. Um, pretty sure Okami. So it's sort of like um. Quite story rich stuff. I guess maybe PS4 has become like the new shooty shooty. Good to see you these last couple of days, and it's done if it was for me. Um, oh, I said that to Jay. Jay um, started coming by the stream a couple of days ago. It's been nice to hang out, but it's nice to hang out with you too. Scholars will also hate the naming convention. Shooty shooty. Essex. Sea of Thieves, but is also on PC. Yeah, I guess. Um, at what point is it like no longer an exclusive then? I didn't think I'd be able to do that, so I'm pretty happy with that.
Maybe we go back. Oh, the thing is, the hollow thing is, the hollow fortress is such a long mission. I can't be bothered to do it again just to get to the end and have Yoshitetsu beat my face in. So I'll probably go back in like ten more levels. If not for Cat, probably never know you. Do you know if Cat's doing alright? I haven't heard from her in a while. Xbox exclusive to release on PC too. Yeah, I guess like with the whole Microsoft thing. They do. They do well. They do. Yeah. Let's hang out. And then you can like get incapacitated just before the boss fight or whatever happens at this particular time. Yeah. See, a lot of launches is just another example of like creating competition by depriving the customer. So oh, you can't play this game unless you have our launcher. Like, just buying lots of IPs doesn't mean that you're a good product. It's um, it's why it's why um, there there were so many like different uh, cable TV options. You know, you get all those different options for a different TV box when you when when you were younger, like Sky TV, um, Virgin. I we used to have like this weird one. Um, like there were loads of them, and it was because like companies would just buy the rights to channels that were successful and then keep people from from accessing those channels unless they bought their product. And it just ended up with like tons and tons of different cable companies and then like they all just, they all just died because they, they were still a shit company and it just got to the point where they were, they were basically saying like um, you need to tolerate a certain amount of shit from us to have, to, to also pay for the privilege of having access to this one channel that you really want. Same with streaming service, 100% same with streaming services. Like fucking Disney Plus. No refund policy. Yeah, there is artificial competition, yeah. Steam hasn't been responding by improving, so it's just pain in the ass complete for the customer. Yeah, Steam has had a huge amount, like a, a huge amount of um. It's also like um, video hosting sites that try to be YouTube. Like, there's a lot of stuff that you could improve with YouTube or, like, back in the day could have been improved with YouTube. Like, if there were multiple people, um, if you had, like, an, if you had, like, a video editor who would, uh, submit videos to your YouTube account, um, they would have to have, uh, your username and password for your entire Google account, so access to, like, all of your, um, all of your emails, all of your Google Drive, like, everything they would have to have access to just to post a picture. Uh, just to post a video um, and instead of trying to create a you know a a video hosting service that is like friendly to the creator people would just try to make YouTube again um, so it's like instead of addressing problems with the service services just try to do what the other service does which they can never replicate because they're now like halving the amount of content somebody has access to and the more you like split content in half the more your experience has to make up for it for like you need to you need to like if you can't keep your customers happy because they don't have access to all of the stuff that they want or they have to pay a lot to have access to just one thing then you have to keep them loyal by improving the user experience for them yeah, it's, it's, it's like competition that will um, expire in, in its effectiveness. It's like... You have, to, you have to ask users to put up with a lot of bullshit. Um, and the more bullshit you ask them to put up with, the more, the more your service needs to be worthwhile. And it's like that with Steam and stuff. Like, as, as more games are getting like quartered off and carved up and taken elsewhere like steam can't just rely on the fact that it's like the only library anymore yeah yeah you 
stole my kill. I'm sick of you. I'm really, I'm like really passionate about artificial competition because that's exactly what it is. It's artificial competition. Like you're not being competitive. You're just trying to create a monopoly and you're failing because monopolies already exist. You'll never have the monopoly. Competition means co consumers have more choice. Making things exclusive re resist restricts that choice. Yeah, it's like an oxymoron to say it's competitive because you've taken the choice away from them, you know? And if a customer has an, op an opportunity to choose between a bad streaming service with lots of um, options, but a really good streaming service with only a few options, then that's like competition because you encourage the bad streaming service to become a good streaming service. Like that's that's what competition should do. Not like, oh, this customer wants to watch um, Disney shows, um, but they also want to have access to like a wide variety of shows. So they have to pick between Disney Plus and Netflix, neither of which are particularly like remarkable services on their own. Like you can't just stand up on your on on the on the. IPs that you've hoarded and be like these this is the choice you have to make like if competition worked in theory these these services would be trying to like improve their own they, they would be trying to improve their experience for the customer like that's what competition should do not just force people to decide between like which service they want to pay for I think someone is trying to be the new YouTube again I wonder in how many weeks they'll close it down who, who is it Yeah, if competition works the way that people keep trying to tell me it works, we would have some really good services, but it doesn't. Because companies just want to carve up everything that's available and just sell their own little piece of it. Hey, Birch. How you doing? Like, if Epic actually gave a shit about the games it, it, it was hosting on its platform, um... There would be refund policies, there would be, like, there would be a reason to load the launcher instead of Steam, you know? Really good, thanks, Birch. We're just talking about how silly it is that, um, console exclusives exist, um, PC launcher exclusive ex exclusives exist, like, streaming platform exclusives exist. The barrier to entry in Ogliopies makes it nearly impossible to change. Well, I mean, change can happen from the inside. It's not so much about money, it's more just about the experience of it. Like, customers will pay a lot if they know that they're going to get a good experience. Um, like, how many times have you made a decision and you've been like, oh, well, this this, this is a bit more of an... Ex like, well, like, with internet providers, you're like, well, this this is a bit more of an expensive uh, option. Oh, like, oh, Virgin or BT are a bit more expensive, but... Um, they... they the the you know the connection they offer is good like oh instead of instead of talk talk which is really cheap but really shit you know um like customers will will pay more if they know that they if they know that their money is going to be worthwhile Comp yeah competition based on paywalls competition based on holding your holding your free time hostage until you pay into until you pay for like a service that doesn't do you any favours, you don't want, isn't necessarily the best, it just has what you want. And you're like, oh great, now I've got it now I've got to install fucking epic launcher. Brilliant, you know. Like I don't think Steam should be the only launcher, but I think that companies need to try and capitalise on making a good service rather than just a service that has a lot of things that people probably don't care that much about in the in you know in the in the grand scheme of things. Like um like in in like the basic sort of tenets of UX, um, it's like you want customers to be happy and you want customers to be satisfied. So you want them to enjoy what they're doing and you want them to be able to complete the tasks or achieve the things that they came here to do easily. And if customers are happy and satisfied then they become loyal. Um, 
And like loyalty is the most important thing when it comes to a product because it means that they're more likely to be patient when things are going wrong. They're more likely to um, try investing in like other other parts. Like they might they might ex like extend their pass. They might um, they might go. They might do a recurring uh, subscription instead of like a one-time payment. They might. Um, buy DLC, you know, they they might pre-order things because they, they trust, you know, they, like, like Nintendo, Nintendo's created a lot of loyalty with its consumer base, it's that kind of thing, and it's like you want customers to be happy and satisfied, um, and a lot of these, a lot of these services don't try and do all of that, they just want, they just want the bare minimum of happy, they want a customer to be just alright with what they have, you know. Trying to think of a good example of competition, I gotta say nothing comes to mind. Hard to find an example of what competition should really be, but plenty of example of what competition certainly currently is. I mean, I feel like my um my my internet network um example is a good example of competition. Like, even though well, the thing is, actually, no, that's right because Vir Virgin is dog shit. They have the worst customer service I've ever seen. <laughs> you know. One thing about being loyal is that it seems to fuck you in the long run. It is one thing about being loyal. I suppose one thing about being loyal is that as soon as something goes wrong, um, it feels like a betrayal. So, um, it's not necessarily that somebody fucks you over. It's more that, like, if you're loyal to a company and you put personal stock in that company and then something happens, you feel much more bitterly about a comp like about a company that you've personally invested in rather than a company that you um don't really care about you know you just you just buy because you have to buy some of the greatest products were born out of two companies trying to outdo each other like what new customers 24.99 10 years later 50 mm, what do you mean like new customers pay twenty four ninety nine a month up front or like Well the thing is I kinda get that. Like when I when I was um back when I was doing illustration with when I first started doing illustration I charged five dollars for a picture. Um and I could like whip pictures out really easily. Uh the the you know the 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 quality wasn't excellent but I could slap pictures out somebody needed like a last minute gift, you know, I could get it done within the day. And it was five dollars per picture. Um, and then it got to the point where like, um, uh, things, it was taking me a bit longer, but things were improving a bit. So I started charging like ten dollars, twenty dollars. And then it got to the point where I would just charge like a flat rate per hour. But those original customers I'd had, I was like, I would have, I would have previously charged you five dollars for this. I feel, I feel like a dick if I now charged you forty dollars. Um, and I don't want I don't want them to stop you know buying things from me. I, w I want them to stay. I want them to stay as my customer, but I also want through word of mouth from them to get new customers because that's that's the way I would get my customers word of mouth. Um, so it got to this point where it was like, do I ask new people for the money that I want, or do I change the price for all, for the old customers? And I would keep the price the same for the old customers so I'd still charge them five dollars and sell things to them at a loss um, for the sake of their word of mouth getting me new customers that I could charge and one of the reasons that I stopped illustrating was because I no longer had time to um, I no longer had time to like build relationships with new customers I didn't have time to take on like new new commissions so it gets to the point where I was just doing things like out of necessity for the old customers because I didn't want to lose their goodwill, but I wouldn't have time to do stuff for new customers. So, I get I get why why companies charge less for new customers early on and then raise the prices as the value of the the value of the product they're selling increases. Um, like I empathise with that because things do improve. Like it's not as though it was twenty four ninety nine for a new customer, and then it's fifty ninety nine for a new customer now, but it's exactly the same. Like technology. You know, internet, I started off paying around 28 and I pay around 48 now, but like, in that time, have you not been upgraded to fiber optic? Has the upload speed not increased? Has the download speed not increased? Like, um, if something breaks, how soon do you get seen? Because back in the day, it would have been like a week, 
sometimes you can get people around same day now like the the value of the service that you receive has has increased and it's like it, it just becomes like this balance like do you how 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 much can you keep things the same for the for the old customers while still selling stuff at like a loss Companies get more lazy and more lazy as the years go by. It brings me to the next point. Loyalty seems to be really easy to get these days. Like currently, the Xbox has revealed its pricing for the new consoles is quite cheap, but for whatever reason, the PlayStation Five elitists already denying everything that the Xbox is saying. Mhm. Mm that that's a minority, though. I suppose it's sort of like um people who shout the loudest. You know, it's like it's like when people say like all gamers hate women, like. Yeah, we've all seen r slash neckbeard, or you know, r slash just neckbeard things. Um, doesn't necessarily mean that it's true, you know. Line rental, I don't use it, and it's about twenty three a month. I mean, you could always cancel it. Ask us to change a plan within the company or something. I don't know. I just feel like um, I feel like when you raised that point, I was like, that makes sense to me. Loyalty is also really easy to get because um, when you like manufacture scarcity, I guess you manufacture like feelings of elitism. You manufacture this feeling that like you're special. You know, you're special because you bought this thing that we sold. Um, so I guess that's a really a really bad part of it. If you change your if you change your plan to a different internet plan, you can still get internet. You know, that's what I'm saying. Like that's not. That's not the, um, I didn't say like, oh, you should cancel your internet and go and live in the woods. I'm saying like, if you don't want to pay for line rental, but you want to keep your internet, you could ask to change to a plan that doesn't have line rental, but does have internet. Like, you know, I'm, I'm not saying you got to go and live in the woods. Car, insur car insurance is a good example of companies taking advantage of people's laziness. Ever had it where your car insurance goes up from last year, so you fan up to cancel and then they drop the price? Utility bills are the same. Yeah, I guess they like, um thrive on customers who don't bother to do that that's kind of predatory as well like surely your car insurance should go down year on year but like there's just like an arbitrary increase i've had that with bills i've had that with utility bills and it's really frustrating because like like um i i have uh like um gas and electric meters and if i don't send them my meter reading every month um, within like a few days window they estimate my meter reading and they triple it I could have like a perfect track record of only spending X, X amount um, a month and they like will still try and triple it every single month and every single month if I forget to do a meter reading I have to get in contact with them and explain the situation and give them a meter reading and send them a photo and it's just like I guess, I guess, I guess they just prey on people being uh, too complacent Thanks, Dokey. I mean, like, I'm not, I'm not a genius in, I, you know, I'm, I'm not, I, I don't, I don't believe I'm some kind of like business whiz, but I mean, I do 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 do. I do user experience for a living. Like, it's my job to increase customer loyalty. Like, that's that's what my job is. Like, I'm a, I'm a UX. Um, so it's not that I, it's not that I'm professing to know anything about business at all it's more that like um i know i know what i know what customer loyalty is and like how you get that loyalty and how you know how you build loyalty with customers so now we put the actual meter reading in and she says what 50 pounds a month yes it's so annoying because like um the time that they give you to do a meter reading as well is like really small they give you like just a couple days to use it, to do a meter reading, and then all of a sudden, um, they've estimated your bill at like eighty-eight pounds a month. It's gone up from like nineteen pounds a month to eighty-eight pounds a month or something ridiculous, and you're like, "Whoa, don't do this." It is bullshit because like every single month is a really annoying period of time to have to keep reiterating how how much you you need to pay 
Like, every month I get a scary email being like, you know you owe £93? And I'm like, no, I fucking don't. No, I owe £93. Like, no, thank you, I don't. Uh, come again. Let's just go. Let's get lost. I was trying to heal, but fine. Well, a brisk jog, I think, is needed now. Thing is, if you ever got that asshole who argues that you can't tell people how to do your, how they do their jobs, you actually can. Please, please articulate. How's the games going though? Pretty well, thanks, Butch. Um, we got onto the discussion of console exclusivity a few hours ago, and I got fired up, and now I'm still fired up. Um, so I'm feeling passionate about everything. Thanks, Sticky. I love when people tell me how to do their job. I guess it depends on, like, um, the kind of job. Punch Snorlax. Stop, Big Mac! I thought you were nice. Oh, my job! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Luckily, things like IT support don't really fall into my um, my jurisdiction shekel, so you're safe. But the devs love it. The devs love it when I have to be like, you can't do that, unfortunately. Ah, that was a risk. That did not pay off. No. Um, devs love it when I tell them you can't keep just making features because you want to. You can't just keep throwing out random features without testing them because customers don't like them and customers have told me that they hate them and it stops customers from using the service because it's so annoying. And then they're like, what the fuck do you know? Oh, what kind of pizza? I had, um the CTO of my company the other day be like, oh, I've done one of those user survey things that you've done. I've done one of those user interviews that you've done to, uh, uh, for my research into, into what the users need. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. What, who, who did you interview? And he was like, well, I didn't interview anybody. I just, uh, I just wrote the answers that I thought a user would respond with. And I was like, oh, oh I see. Okay. So you've interviewed yourself about a feature that you want to push forward onto the system. And he was like, yeah, I even made a page for the user, myself. Um, even, even, even written like a whole biography for him. See, he, he has zero in mobile, but he's got five in technical savvy. And I was like, who? He made it pretty. <laughs> Pepperoni beef ham and barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce is the best on pizza. The best. Oh my god, I, I didn't know what to do. I was like, I've, I've got a hernia. You've given me a hernia. Like, it's like I, I was worried the users wouldn't say the right thing, so I just made up, made up my own user. Oh, great, cool. Are you gonna present this to anybody? Don't put my name on it, thank you. That guy's the worst, though. The worst. He was like, my, my user's name is John, like John Gray or something, and he was like, and John Gray really hates that we aren't updating the data in real time. And I was like, no customers have mentioned that. No customer has ever done a task that relies on that. And he was like, well, my user research indicates. So. I'm sure your user research does indicate that. How interesting. Tell me more. Please, go ahead. So I guess you can't just nip down there then. Maybe you can. Oh, well, I was reading chat. Well, okay, I'm down. Cool. Now I get to rip um, 
Oh, is there actually not a shrine here? Sad. Now I get to rip uh, Nurikage's little bomb tag off. Booty. But yeah, that was definitely one of the worst things I've ever seen in my job. Just the CTO being like, I've completely fabricated a user for the sake of um, bolstering my own argument and pushing for a pushing for something that nobody wants. Only the biggest tech nerds care about the technicals. I mean, like, um, if it would help people do a task that they need to do, then definitely. Update away, real time, do it. But fucking hell. Fucking hell. It's because, like, um, it's because, like, they'll be like, oh, Merc, can you go out and, um, research this? Find out what users think of this, um, you know, how users are using this, whether there's a, whether there's a problem, and whether they need real-time data, um, like, real-time data updates. Make sure you find out whether they need real-time data updates. So I'll go and do the, I'll go and do the research, and I'll be, like, sitting with users, interviewing them, asking them to, like, show me around the system. How would you complete this task? How would you complete this task? What would you do here? What would you do there? Um, blah, 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 you know, I, show me this, show me that, and you know, you don't ever be like, and what do you think of real time data, you know, you just be like, you know, you, you kind of, you kind of ask about it a bit, but not, you're not super obvious, um, and they just didn't, they just, uh, and you go back to the devs, and you're like, oh, they didn't, they didn't bring that up, sorry, and they're like, well, we're gonna do it anyway, and I'm like, okay, well, don't ask me, don't ask me then, yeah, it's because, um, it's because they, they think they're solving problems, but the problems don't actually exist. Like one of them was like, um, oh, so I was like, oh, so users, um, users need to input data paths into the things that they make. Um, so I was thinking, if we made some kind of IntelliSense for the data paths, so you start typing a data path in, and then you get like a little autocorrect. Like you know, like when you're searching something on Google, you can find like the data path that way, and then you don't have to memorize data paths and put them into like letters and things like that. Um, uh, and um, and I was like, so why don't we just make like an IntelliSense, you know, so that they don't they don't they don't have to remind themselves. They can just start typing and see what the predictive text says. And they were like, no, I think we should create an AI companion. And I was like, oh god, AI what? What 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 do you mean an AI companion? And they were like, something like Siri or Cortana, or Alexa, that can follow you around the website, and any page you're on, it knows the tasks that you're trying to do. And it can suggest ways that they can approach those tasks, and, you know, offer solutions for tasks that may they might have problems with, including, for example, the data paths. And I was like, you want a, you want a Microsoft paperclip? You want to bring the paperclip back? And they were like, no, like an AI companion. And I was like, well, it's not going to be AI, AI, is it? It's not AI. We, we can't create AI. There's no such thing. Like, oh my god. They were like, I was like, just do the fucking IntelliSense. Come and talk to me later. When you've finished. And then they never did the IntelliSense. They were like, it's stupid. But they didn't make the AI companion either. I was like, great. Why am I on the payroll? Anyway, here's Magra. Yeah, when you had a wizard that was actually a wizard. would take years to develop. Just make the IntelliSense. That's that's a few weeks. We've got we've got we've got we've got libraries, we've got plugins, just do it. Oh you don't want to. Okay, cool. That's fine.
paperclip. And I was like, do you remember the paperclip from Microsoft Word? And they were like, oh yeah, that was really annoying. I was like, you, you. These people, honestly. Sometimes the simplest solution is just the right one. It usually is. Like, it's more than sometimes. It's like every day. Oh, you want to make your own Siri? Okay. No. Good idea, though. Wow, that's nice. My my colleague has, has um, perfected the hmm, which she pulls out whenever a developer says something like, let's make our, ho our own machine earn it learning AI like <laughs> she just goes hmm so anyway just carries on the conversation makes people feel heard but it doesn't give them any space to keep talking about it <laughs> ambitious <laughs> yeah well we actually lasted a lot longer than I thought we would so I'll give us that ambitious yes feasible fuck no especially because we make like a very niche kind of software that People would only use in a very specific circumstance. So you don't need like a Siri assistant. Like people don't, it's not like um, a social media site where people spend all day on it. It's like something that you go onto to check something and then leave, you know? Is that iCarly? Is that an iCarly emote? Well, these sloth talismans don't last a fucking minute, do they? I forgot a shit Omeo was on this. I was like, why do I never use Omeo? And then I use sloth talisman or something and it wears out after four seconds and I'm like, oh yeah, that's why I don't use Omeo on Neo 2. Remember back in Neo 1, you'd use Omeo on something and it'd be like ten seconds. Ten seconds of slow down time. It's a streamer. Mochi. Aww. So she's not Miranda Cosgrove. Okay. Okay. Ah, oh, that makes sense. That makes sense why you'd be like, who's, who's that? She'd be like, well, it's me. So you still can't get his armor set? Wow. That's crazy, I did not know that.
Well, this is where we'll be for the next 80 minutes. I want to do a wheel to no duchy. I'm here. HP do you have, honestly? In centimeters. really like when um, we've barely started the uh, boss fight and I'm running out of Estus. by hitting him enough. Oh! I'm like spamming X, let's go. Whee. And I can't be bothered to make the run back shorter. Get out of the way. Ah, oh. the salt mine. Oh, Magro. Magro was a huge pain in the ass the first time I played this as well. It wrecked me a lot. I had to get really good at fighting him, but it's been a while now.
me at those Hideyori strats. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, shit. Look how much damage that does. Oh. <laughs> Oh, in the mood for that shekel. Had to do it to him. I will time you out. Abuse. I I will. He is a tough cookie. Well, the thing is, I don't know how else to counter it, honestly, because he. Telegraphs the grab and then he just runs at you. So I'm not really sure how to um to uh to not do that. The annoying thing about that grab is that I've managed to do it once. So like, I know it can be done. Right, you have to be right in his face as he begins it, okay. There we go. Thank you, Shepard. Oh, you can smash that, okay. Oops. Just punched his hand. Why the fuck not, you know?
Wink! Yummy! Thank you for the follow, Yummy! Oh! Ah, <sighs> bastard. Well, that went a lot better. That grab! The grab! The grab! The grab! You hear the noise, so you just press it, and then you realise that you've done it. Oh god. And then you're like, here he is. Um. I'm not gonna go for a cry, but I do need a wee, so I'll be back um, in like five to ten minutes. That was a quick five to ten minutes, well you know, I would still like to leave you waiting. Two minutes, two minutes. We've got an hour left. We can spend an hour doing this. This can be my new life, I don't mind it. I really miss the Dark Souls roll right about now. The same with Yoshitetsu. Um, I miss the roll, you know.
Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I gotta use my elixirs more slowly. Smooth. Oh, I remember running into a huge roadblock with this last time though. Um, <laughs> the flash of fear, man! It was more than a flash, wasn't it? Let's let's be let's be honest. Let's be honest. Um. I remember, I'm kind of reassured because I remember the first time we played through this, um, I ran into a similar problem, um, whereby Nae Attacker was really hard, um, and we were stuck at him for like the best part of two hours, so I don't feel too bad about this. Thanks, thank you. I will, I will try. Oh, cool. I do a tiny bit more damage now. That's nice. You can call me whatever you want. Uh, my name is a secret. Or at least as much of a secret as I can manage it without accidentally posting it. Or saying it out loud. You dig.
Can I call you Sunshine? Hell yeah, you can call me Sunshine. Please don't try what I'm about to tell you, but I've actually, um... Actually, never mind. Damn it, Bezos. Just another reason to eat the rich. They did not protect my personal data, even though I specifically asked them to. Oh man. God, I hate that grab. Yeah, like, um, I've tried to do that as well and I find it really annoying. Like, until I put my name on PSN as just a fake name, um, I wouldn't let me not have a last name. Like, the thing is, with PSN, oh fuck, I shouldn't have done that. With PSN, um, your, your name, like, isn't important. It doesn't get used for any, like, official billing. The one, the one on your PSN profile. So, like, having last name as mandatory is so irritating. I'm like, you literally don't need this. Stop asking for it. Like, I'm happy to have my full name on, like, billing and email correspondence and stuff. Like, my account name is accurate, but my uh, PSN name is just K-Bomb because, like, I, I'm, not putting my, I'm not putting my real name on there when I stream, you know? That's what you call pee, pee yeah? I don't know how close that was. I don't want to know. But I think it was close. Close every time now. Yes! Maybe I did want to know. I remember by the time I finished fighting this guy, I actually really enjoyed it. Yeah. Plausible fake surname. Aww. What was that for your YouTube? I just don't like websites that insist on a first and last name, um, even though it's not important. All right, McSweet. Um, like I, 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 my, 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 my details are correct behind the scenes, but you know, if it's my fucking fan fiction account, not with my name on it. I thought that was your name. Oh, 
Got some work to do, nice. I like that. I'm a big fan of that shit. Like, I, I, I'm under no illusions about the size of my stream. I am a small stream. I'm a small streamer. That is fine by me. But just just the, the tiny percentile chance that somebody could turn up outside my house one day um, fills me with the most insane fear. Car accidents, yeah. Like on my Amazon wish list, it was like, um, allow, allow third-party sellers to to be hosted on your wish list. Warning: um, this will give people your full address. No, no, maybe for a friends and family one, but that was on by default. That's not something that you configure to be on. That's on by default. Like I understand if you want to let me put that on if I want, but default. Yeah! I don't know how much P.O. boxes are, and I don't get enough mail to know for sure, but I am tempted, just, just in case. Yeah, is it better to have a name that's obviously fake or a name that people don't know would be fake? Like if you make your name like Louise Wilkinson, people would be like, yeah, that sounds plausible. I'm not going to try and dig around and find that. You know, the assumption might be that that exists. They might skip the whole trying to figure out your name portion of it and just look for a Louise Wilkinson. They might not even consider. Turkey, yeah. No, please. Fuck you, honestly. That grab is such an instant kill. That's so rough. None your damn business. Yeah, that's definitely not an obvious fake name. I would never assume. William Daymill. Yeah, that sounds that sounds fine. That sounds cool. Mike Roch. Mmm, easy. Delicious. Does anybody have his number? Harry Mon. What? Like hairy man? Or is this some male joke that I'm too clean to understand?
Hairy man. Good. Okay. That was excellent. I'm a big fan of hairy man. Hey, Jakey. Biggest dickest. That was a, that's a good reference, though. People at least get a chuckle out of that. I'm pretty sure there's a story behind that scene as well. I think the I think the extras were told that if they laughed, they wouldn't get paid. Um, and obviously they did get paid. But I really like that. You, honestly. See you soon. Whee. Ooh. God, that fills me with fear. Yeah, like it, it makes the scene a bit a bit more funny. My mate's grand is friends with Michael Palin and every time I go around she's like, I can to Michael Palin. Ah, he writes me letters. And then she lets me read the letters and it's like Hello hello Anne, I hope this letter finds you well. Signed Michael Palin. I'm like, oh, that's cute. I can't believe that he can do it outside of the thing. No DMs! He's already in her DMs. Her paper DMs. Michael Palin's apparently really nice. Apparently John Cleese is an arsehole though. Who is Doppio and Diavolo? Joe jokes. Okay, right, thank you. Is that a JoJo reference? Like uh, Demon of Hatred, where I fought the boss so much that I got the song stuck in my head. <laughs> and um, Ginichiro. I was actually uh, I was actually humming that in the shop today. Well, I wasn't humming it because you can't hum like. Switch in a moment. Go on. Alpha. 
What about King Wilson? like it. The thing is, I should just dodge out of the way of that grab. Um, because it is unfeasible for me to assume that I will always be able to counter it. Yet as soon as I hear that noise and see the red, I'm like, uh oh. Time to press R1 and circle. Like that meme of the hand that just slams down on the red button. Just R1 circle. You put your initials at the end. Cute. SM. For Shekelmeister. That was close. Usually if I'm in the middle of doing an attack, even if I start absolutely slamming um, R1 in a circle when he's doing that, he'll get me anyway, so I don't know how I'll survive that for some reason. Well, I'm glad that you like something. Hello Tiger, how you doing? Not much thanks Tiger. I'm hungry. I always get hungry at about half one in the morning. My 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 like sleep schedules. No, my not not my sleep schedule. My waking schedule is so fucked. I always eat as though I have a normal day. Like I always have an early breakfast, lunch at twelve, and dinner at seven, and then it gets to two a.m. and I'm like, I haven't eaten in like seven hours. Um, what could have caused this? Why am I so hungry? I'm an idiot. I really wish your actual name was Thor. I, don't, I didn't like the game and I didn't know what's the objective. Ah, that's a good question when it comes to Bloodborne. And I understand your concern. No! 
No! No! No! No! Stop it! Oh no! <laughs> I didn't want this! No! I'm out of water! Then I can't just grab it. Me a monkey nut. So angry. Hmm. That'll happen, Tiger. That'll happen. Hmm. You're supposed to die to the wolf or run past it. You're not supposed to beat the wolf. Yeah, I'm not supposed to beat the wolf. Yeah, I remember you telling me about the map at she. He's caught chaos. Fair. It's fine. I always tell stories that I've already told, so it's nice when other people do it. Let's slam the ground. Eat the food! There we go. Hey! How you doing, fat person? Yo, three. Love it. Hey. Fuck off. I need quick chain scrolls just to survive that grab. You gonna get a friend to help me with the campaign tomorrow? Nice. Well, fair enough, Tiger. Well, don't worry, you're not supposed to beat the wolf. Um, you're supposed to leave it. And I'm playing Neo 2. Um, what are you playing? If at all anything. Chilling. Fair enough. Why did I survive that? That doesn't make any sense. I didn't. I didn't deserve to live. This boss is really strong. He's a pain in the ass. Ah. Look at all the monkey nuts I've had today. <laughs> oh jeez. Yeah, he just stabbed me in the air twice. And it kills me as well. I have to use special scrolls to resurrect. Oh, 
but I only have three of those scrolls, and if I use them on dying to other parts of his fight, which is very possible, then I don't have enough left for a grab. He's a DM quite a bit, he's more experienced in the field as opposed to me as DM once or twice. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea then. Well, what do, you, what do you think he's going to add? Just like help you look for like plot holes in the story or like help you add interesting things to it? Or like all of the above? My day's been really well, thanks. Um, I went to get a Psyduck Teddy, um, and they were the business that I usually buy my Pokemon Teddies from has gone bankrupt or has closed down and moved. But basically, no Teddy, no Teddy. I was very sad about that. Um, and then I went to get a copy of Dark Souls 3 with my friend so that my friend could play Dark Souls 3. And they were sold out, so that was pretty sad. No, it's alright. But besides that, I had a really good day. I had a Subway. I had a Subway salad. It was delicious. Um, uh, played some Neo 2. Tilted a lot. Got upset. It was good. Uh, what about you? How's your day been? Boss level to, be to begin in. Fair enough, yeah. That's what I did with mine, actually. I think it's a good way to do it. Yeah, I had a pretty good day. What about you? Oh, are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Great. Sorry. Encounters and combat battles. Nice. Puzzles are the best. If you can do a really good puzzle, people will love it. A painful day. What, ha what happened? I've only got Snorlax and Snubble. I wanted to get a Psyduck. Say ay ay! Duck! Uh, and I'll say, if they don't have Psyduck, I'll get maybe, maybe a Pikachu? Um, I know they released another Pokemon themed one a little while ago, but I don't remember what it was. You have Fibromyalgia. What, what is that? Yeah, Neo 2 happens before Neo 1. Makes you in pain very bad, it targets the nerves. Oh wow, I didn't realise it was that bad, I'm sorry about that. It's something you get if you had chicken pox, oh man. I had chicken pox, we don't vaccinate for it in the UK. Sure thing, Dake, you have a good night. Like, people have chicken pox parties, and the more I learn about chicken pox, the more I'm like, you know what, that's actually a really bad idea. You should vaccinate against chicken pox. Like, <laughs> you give, you, people get shingles. I don't understand why, as a, as a country, we don't vaccinate for it. Evil Tal, Xerneas, Hooper, and Pikachus. Where'd you get those? I, got, I get mine from build -A Shingles is caused by chicken pox. That's why I'm saying it's bad that we give kids chicken pox on purpose instead of vaccinating against it. Like, when I was at nursery, like, if somebody got chicken pox, um, we'd all have to go on. We'd all, we'd all, they'd, all the mums would have like a chicken pox party. Dreadful. Dangerous. So, what is fibromyalgia then? Wait, Wish actually sells good shit. 
I've seen some wish stuff before and been like, that is too good to be true. No, no, I, I asked you about it. What is it? Oh, he's on fire. Bless. Oh, that sounds awful. Hereditary as well. That's even worse. Do you have medication for it? No way. I, I always look at Wish. Like, I've, I've seen some really good stuff advertised on Wish and I'm like, why is that four pounds? I'm not, <laughs> I'm not ordering that. That's, that's too good to be true. Yeah. It didn't work very well, I see, okay. Well, that would have been it. Oh, Kius. Nice. I hope so. That was lucky, wasn't it? <laughs> I 
Oh, that was lucky, wasn't it? No, gone. Don't feel bad, even I was struggling on a couple of these. Thank you very much. It's alright. We can do it. So how long did it take you to finish um Dream of the Dream of the Demon chills? That's alright, that's alright, that's the right person. That's the right person three. I um I don't mind. You're not even done with it, fair enough. True Vol Hunter mode, nice, well done. How long did that take? Never. Yeah, I'm pretty excited for Borderlands 3. I saw it on sale today, actually, but I didn't pick it up. I should have. Bastard. Story 2 out of 10? What do you mean? Well, we've got 15 minutes left, and if not, it'll always be the first attempt on the next stream. I guess that's how it always happens. Hey, 
Hey, true weeb, total gamer. How you doing? They screw up a lot of things. Like what? Some of the dialogue is so funny. I Borderlands is really good for funny dialogue. Is this game on Steam, PS4, or Xbox? This game is on PS4, but I think it's coming to Steam um, sometime this year, isn't it? Yeah. Scooby. I remember you were really on my side the first time I had a rough time with this guy Scopes. You were like, this guy, uh, you, you basically have to go without getting hit by this guy the whole time and I was like, yeah you do, and you were like, that was stupid, and I was like, yeah it is. Supple maester. No, you bastard. Sorry, I know that there's a lot in chat and I promise I'll look at it. He's just got so much health. He's got like 50 health. At least 50. Oh shit. His counter opportunities is now one of, one of his most hard hitting moves. Oh, his like big grab. Is this kind of like the Dark Souls series? Sort of, except the emphasis is more on the combat than the story and exploration. So like, it's more about 
learning moves and skills and counters and stuff than it is about like seeing good things. In fact, they even reuse a lot of the maps because they're like, you're not here for the maps. Don't lie. Well, that saved me from me making the dumb mistake of trying to do it. Sukal and story over the Borderlands 3 story any day. Did not play the fight for Sanctuary DLC. I did. It's like poetry, it rhymes. I was pissed that my OP levels were reset. The answer that bit in there. Supplemeister. Video games are rubbish and dumb. What is that? Uh, this fight sucked in the second playthrough. I can't imagine doing it on the third. It's, it's hard. Uh, don't even get me started on what happens after the first vault. It's a lot harder now that one of his counter opportunities is also his hardest hitting move. We need new vault hunters. I can help. I am 47. Close again though. Been here for long. Not not too long. Just 90 minutes. I'll do one more try. Look smooth. Look smooth beat three bosses today on Dark Souls 2. It was a poetry in motion. But we're starting Skyrim tomorrow! Oh yeah, we should definitely introduce Smooth to Neo. Is it on Xbox? Xbox boy! We were raised different, but it means that we never stole each other's games. Boys, I'm not on the good old box. That was fucking close. The animation of him grabbing me had already begun when um <laughs> when I when I counted it. No worries, I don't I don't mind what console you prefer. I'm not the kind of person to get upset about it.
really? I run out already? Okay. I ran out of juice. Why don't you use a living weapon? Tiger! I've already used it. it. Takes ages to charge. And also, I don't have a living weapon. Thank you, brother. Oh, I wish you weren't called a fat person, a fat person. I feel so mean being like, thank you, a fat person. Yeah, it got super nerfed in Neo, too. I missed the Neo one living weapon. This boss pissed me off. I feel too mean when I read your name. Oh, damn. Oh. Well, we get close every time. I just run out of heals pretty fast and then spend the rest of the time tiptoeing around him. That's alright, we can do it. I'll try one more time. I know I said that the last time, but I'll try one more time. I feel alright. The first three losses against him, I was really salty. Um, and now, like, we've lost against him for like 90 minutes straight. I'm starting to adjust, you know? I'm starting to adjust. Can you parry him? I don't think so. Um, gonna be here till 7am? <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, the first three times I was really salty, but now I feel okay about it. Thanks, Op Chan. Yeah, I've set him on fire a few times, but it doesn't, he doesn't stay on fire as soon as he changes to the fun zone. What, your first time on Dream of the Demon, Maverick? He doesn't really like the bag, no. Oh, in, in, Dream of the, in Dream of the Demon Maverick? Or in uh, Dream of the Samurai, whatever the just new game is? Okay. 
You like Dark Siders too? I've heard of that game. I think Plunder was playing it a few months ago. Need more DLC, fair enough. I love the idea of you like leaning in and squinting at his name, Scobie, just before typing that. Because that's what I have to do every time I talk about him. I really like the Pursuit of Fight, I have a lot of fun with him. Been through a lot. Oh, fair enough. I didn't, I didn't know you were streaming that. That's cool. This man is blue. He was so easy on Way of the Strong. He was so easy. And now, duh. He's an ice boy. Dabba dee dabba die. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll carry on next time. We've done a bit of stuff today. Like a few things. We did some levels to some level of success. So, um, we can just stop. We've got Skyrim tomorrow anyway, so, you know, we'll have, we'll have a nice easy time tomorrow, presumably. I can't wait to try some of the challenges. And then we're back on Tuesday with The Witch 3. Should be back on Wednesday with Neo 2, depending on whether or not I get bored. It's your dream, Annie. You can do it, Tiger. Is it a museum in Japan? That is a fun fact. Thank you, Maverick. Okay, yeah. So I'm gonna bail. But if you were lurking and you enjoyed the stream, please consider giving me a follow. Um, otherwise, take care. We'll be back tomorrow. We'll get him next time. You're right, Option. We'll get him. We'll get him next time. I'll, ki I'll kill him. Ah, I'll fucking kill him. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.